um, uh, and I'm saying all this because watching Super Troopers it, uh, as an adult right now, and I've seen this movie a lot of times. I have seen it so many times that um, it's one of those things that when my brother and I, when I was saying when my brother flew up in San Antonio, he had just like a, a, a TV with the VHS in there, and yeah. all, we had, all we had was half baked the Super Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch it. it was on loop and then the thing would start all over so you just turn it on and it play on its own and it just loop the movie so it'd be played in the background and then I, I used to just really watch I didn't watch half big more but Super Troopers was always on and um but now like when you hear the story of how what they where, where how they made the movie um when you really get down to like like uh that that movie for me like I think the score is at the end when we get to it you're gonna be like whoa but um like it's gonna be pretty easy. Like you can get my, you can see my woe, but it's gonna be like, like what, what I have to say about it. Because for Super Troopers One, I have like no notes. I just started saying no. I just, I think this will be fun for Ben and I just to talk it out. And I'll, I'm gonna kind of wing, I'm gonna wing his, wing his notes a little bit. I'm gonna write his wing because I just, I know this movie pretty well. But Super Troopers Two, this is this really the second time I've seen it, and I got like notes. I got notes. So I hope you're in it for the long haul. We're doing a side by side midnight re- movie review. Oh yeah. So sorry, sorry. I uh, I kind of bit a lot uh, more than I can chew on this uh, episode, but I'm happy that I got through it. And I have to throw a shout out to my boy Ben, who uh, kind of just hung in there and he chilled while while I had to catch up and he let me catch up. And I I tip my hat to the gentleman because uh, it's a true man. It's a true homie right there. He he waits for his guy. Well, listen, man. Uh... We can't have side by side with just one person. All right. Uh, this is a this is a team effort, and you know, give and take, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I like I said, it's uh, you know, it worked out too. Um, so I have little to nothing to do tomorrow. Hey, why not? I uh, and plus, this has been like a short week too. Like we we watched like we we did one on Wednesday. Yeah. And so we're doing another one today. So. I mean, short amount of time to watch two movies, both clocking in at one hour and 40 minutes. So, I mean, that's it's a little bit of time, man. Yeah, man. They, uh, um, oh, go for it. Go for it. Oh, no, dude. I, like I said, I uh, actually have quite a bit of notes, man. Like, I'm, I'm front and back on my paper for both movies. And yeah. uh, also, dude, shout out to Kenya. She got me, like, this cool pin set. Oh, dude! Like it's a whole bunch of colors, and like it's fine tip pins too. Like, let's see, where is it? There you like are. that, and um, yeah, man, I love it. So I have like one in blue and one in green. Yeah, man, like I'm ready to go. T- tell your um, lady, tell your lady, thank you for supporting the troops here on the on the yeah. side by side. That's <laughs> awesome, man. No, I know it makes a big deal because I actually had to go through two mechanical pencils on this one. Or one was already old, but I, I burned through it real fast. And I got this other one. I started burning through it. And I was like, man, these mechanical pencils kind of suck. <laughs> yeah, I get some good stuff. Uh, it, was, it was one of those, like, dollar packs. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Now, let me kind of. Um, I forgot I graded it already, man. Like, I already got my score on both of them. That's awesome. And, uh, I, and also, uh, Ben also said to take my time while I was doing this. Because he, he basically saying, like, I, we had to show the, the these movies that are proper homage or like uh their um what am i what am i trying to say there their do their due diligence like you you got to put your time into these you don't just kind of burn yeah. through these movies there's so many little things i found out about both these movies that i'm very proud that like we did this man and um oh one thing i got to bring up from the last one uh we didn't do the score so we're gonna have to do a uh re reshoot on that we didn't <laughs> they, do a score on those uh, no no we did a score we didn't do the rotten tomato score though i don't know if we're i don't know if we're, that's oh okay thing. yeah so no i, I mean we've got to talk about it i don't know i like i like talking about that that's cool that we have like the um the rotten tomatoes critic score and the, the the audience score I like i like doing that i never used to do that and now now i look forward to that i was always like oh, i don't care but now i'm like i i, I am gonna say so and i want to know what the say so's or what everyone else is saying you know so no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's pretty, uh, I gotta well, it's, say it's almost, it's almost like a gauge, man. Like it's, it's like, uh, okay, this is where, this is where people are putting this movie at. Like, cause whenever I see a critic score, man, like I don't t- I take it with a grain of salt, obviously, but like, I also think whenever you have critics, they're like looking at those, oh, those movies that are like really artsy and stuff yeah. like that, you know, like they're really taking into an account like, okay, you know, this is like, they're 
hardcore graded these things. Um, and, you know, sometimes when you're doing that, especially with comedies, you can kind of lose sight of, you know, like just having fun when you go to the movies. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that's where, you know, it's like, okay, you know, just kind of getting the, I, I like having that gauge, man. I like having a, uh, it's, uh, it's almost like, what is it? Uh, oh gosh, I can't even think what I'm trying to say. The, the It's like having a wall, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, this is where they stand. And this is where they are. It's like, all right. I don't want to go that far, you know. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't know, this is a this is a terrible explanation of what I'm trying to say. Just just but, b- b- uh, go through it, man. Go through this wall. Now you're stuck on a wall. Break through it. <laughs> ah, 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 the wall, the wall. No, um, but yeah, man, it's uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed both of these movies. Like hardcore, uh, was laughing a whole bunch uh, throughout both of them, man. Like. Ah, yeah. Like, pretty much all my notes are just like, re- well, recalling scenes and stuff like that, uh-huh. just so I could bring them up later and be like, oh, dude, this is what I loved about it. You know, yeah. that's what my notes are. Uh, that that's basically what I was saying about the first one. I was like, dude, let's just do. I was just gonna say we could just talk. So this one will definitely be like, are you, I think you're gonna see like this love that I have for uh, these guys, this this group, this trope, which would uh, I think they're called um man broken lizard they that's fun they know how to make a comedy and oh, yeah. i'll say this about super tubers remember i'm saying this in the beginning there's spoilers on this uh podcast so if you're listening to this right now please and you don't want you've never seen super troopers or you don't uh, you don't want really uh, um you haven't you know seen the whole thing just be, be warned we we talk about we talking about the movie um uh, so you know what else uh, man did you wrote a broken lizard dude like uh what is it beer fest man yeah he's like uh a zj what's that i mean if you have to ask can't afford it it. like dude that is i i this is why i love this group man it's just because they have they have like those one-liners that you just are like yes man like that's that's it's perfect dude my 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 buddies i see that's why we we will do we'll get to beer fest one time but because we have to but that movie that movie is a perfect movie but um, my buddies, when well, we always joke around, be like, hey, back the fuck up, Antonio. That's my name. <laughs> like, 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 he's like, I got to move along, guys. I got a mouth to feed. Like, we just say that. Just like breaks, breaks the bottle. <laughs> yeah, like, back the fuck up. No, I just think it's funny, dude. Like, like he says, uh, yeah, I have a mouth to feed. Like, dude, we used to say that all the time. Just, we just be around like, hey, what are you going to do today? Man, I got to go to work. Why? Right, because I got a mouth to feed. <laughs> dude, like, and then. And then whenever he's like looking off in the instance, he was like, I was playing ping pong and ding dang. Like, <laughs> dude, that one always gets me too. And I, like this week, I, I found myself like just looking off into the distance, just like thinking to myself. And that's the first thing that came to my mind was like, I was playing ping pong and ding dang every <laughs> damn time. Like, <laughs> shoved the paddle up my ass. <laughs> yeah, I've been sideways, <laughs> shit pancakes for weeks. <laughs> Oh man, we I I am I am I am I'm sold on this. Um, I love this this movie. I love these guys. I I think they just they hit it. Um, something that I really get. Um, we'll we'll eventually get to this movie. Talking about it, <laughs> but one, yeah, thing right. really, one thing that I really love about about these guys is they um they really grasp like a scene and they really know how to sell it. They sell it well. And I want you to say his name because I'm gonna blow uh, blow it. Jay, what's his last name? How would, how would you say his? I, I... <laughs> I, heard, I heard it earlier and i'm like man i'm gonna mess it up I'm, it's not spanish so it's gonna throw me off it throws me off a lot but All jay right. man the director chan, chan dress sakar Jan, yeah chan dress sakar yeah he he uh, my doppelganger my older doppelganger he, yeah um uh man <laughs> he guy. he does he's got a good eye man the way he directs the way he tells her and one thing i got to say about what these guys on the movie set is they look like they're having fun Oh yeah, the, the whole movie, the editing. I have like the like the get the the editing they do that two minute scene and from in the first one, like the way they edit the movie, it's so awesome. Like it's still like a it's like a a, a weird cool way. Like they're showing you like, hey, we're kind of like we're hip. This is like you know it's like a cool way to show it, and um, I like everything about that. Everything about the the movies is oh now that so the that's what I wanted to say. The first one when I watched it, um, it would be like more of like 
I remember all the funny scenes and I saw this when I was in high school. So I think I was a sophomore in high school when I saw this one. And um, I, uh, I remember just seeing all the scenes and they're just cracking up all the time. Like, dude, this is funny. This is a funny movie. Like this is a, this has a lot of um, little jokes. And I just took them as that. I didn't, excuse me. I took, I didn't realize that they had way more depth than, than that. I didn't realize that this movie is a, it's such a good movie. I would consider this a perfect movie. Um, the way it intertwines the, all the characters, all the story, all the, everybody, even the stoners in the beginning, they bring them back. Even mm-hmm. the, the relationship uh, with Foster and uh, Ursula, they, they, they work on, like it's, it, they all, every scene, it has a purpose, but at the same time, every scene can stand alone. The movie, mm-hmm. the first, the first opening scene, it feels like a short movie. Yeah. And, and then I found out I did a, I did a little research on it and it was from Cinefix that it was, they actually have, it was a story that uh, a crew that hung out with Broken Lizard that they happened to them. So they got, mm-hmm. so they got inspired to make the story. So what happens with, um, with that, that story about how just the way they show it, it's just, it's so now as an, now as an adult, now as I was, I was um, um, telling my, my mom, I was like, now with my adult brain, like I see things different in my dad brain. And I'm like, Oh man, it's, it's way funnier than me. I just, I get it. I get all the layers. I get it. I, I, I've, I, number two, it took me longer to watch because I kept rewinding it because I just, I was like, did they, God, I just caught that. I just caught that. I have to rewatch it again. That Okay, I caught that. Because uh, number two, I've only seen it twice. This is that uh, at the theaters are now. And then the first one, I don't, I mean, I could, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen the first one. But <laughs> now that when I really put the story together, um, you really have like, I just kind of like, the, just a few tops, topics I have is like, um, the opening scene is like a short movie. It, it really, um, it, it really wants to talk about this. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I said I really want to talk about this movie a lot. Like, I just want it to happen because for me, this is a hidden gem. And yeah. and I'm glad I saw it tonight. I mean, I'm happy. And this is the first time I've done this where I've done a back-to-back for side-by-side. And, and it was it – was, I noticed something right away from the first one and the second one. They are the exact same movie. Mm-hmm. But but it's it's just in a different location. But it's so damn funny because the jokes are different. They're not the same jokes. There's, there's like it's, – it's so playful to set. I mean, even the ending of the movies, I show you the bloopers and everyone messing around – like mm-hmm. that's that's looks so fun like i want to be on a set like that like i want i want my sets to be like that i want i want i want everybody to just be like hey let's just have a good time let's make a movie we're making a movie let's 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 do this and with um with with that with that one um the way they end it is just perfect because they, they, it's like a giant it's just a giant slow burning like loop story and then you get back forget the beginning like and then like the relationship works out uh, you really see the, the 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 relationship between brian cox's character grady and uh, I mean, versus Grady, um, the the captain versus him, you really see that hate. And then he says, "You're what are you? Oh, what are you drunk?" And he goes, "Yeah, drunk enough to kick your ass." Like you really like see the the fight. And then at that one point, like Brian Cox, by the way, is like one of my favorite actors. When he introduced him uh, at that fight scene, man, or at the the at the cafe, he just steals the scene, like just grabs it, just 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 <laughs> takes it, and you're just like, he's in this movie. What? Yeah. Like, what? This is like badass because like actors in it. Like they, uh, that's what I got. Like Linda Carter, like the way she does yep. her like little cameo, and then um, the mayor. I, I don't even know who the mayor is. I want I, I want to look him up. I um that the mayor guy in the first <laughs> one. He's so funny, man. He's like, hey, you guys, uh, you guys busy? Like he knows what they're doing, <laughs> and he wants to. He's all cheesy. He wants to get in on it. He's like, you guys uh, know what you're doing? Uh, go, yeah. He's like, give me a gun. Come on. <laughs> and they're yeah, posing. Just- and and even at that, I didn't even. I never caught that. It was Ursula. I didn't when, when all those times I watched it. I didn't. I just was like, it was just funny to me. I just laughed at the scenes. Um, but it was Ursula was the one that she put all the everything together, every everything in motion. She was the one that helped them out. So it wasn't like they they were stumbling across things, but there was someone putting it there, and it was Ursula. Yeah. And I was like, oh okay, this is cool. There's a girl behind this, a, a woman that's um that's uh doing everything. She's she's the one behind it all. And they, because it kind of does, these guys are dumbasses. Like they can't, they can't really, <laughs> they can't do anything. They're, they're kind of, it's just, man, the way they, they really pull the, 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 the pranks, the practical jokes, you, and that's the thing I say, like in the first one, they have the, the, the intro of the stoners and the guy eating all the, the, the shrooms and drugs. And then in this, the second one, they have the, the, the bus, the dream, the rabbit dream. Mm-hmm. So like, they kind of introduce you like, Hey, but it's, but then um, like, you see that there's like the same kind of, pattern pattern and the watching the movie and the when the jokes but they're it doesn't matter like they're so funny um a lot of the first things the the, the first movie i get is just um just the, the the characters like i like all the characters like even at the very end that little papa's um kid that he tells him, no move, put it over there or like mm-hmm. put the, move the keg with the keg and then he goes here split it like that's like oh that guy like that was like the perfect character like they picked him 
and he did that i was like man that he's like he's really like you really want to kick his ass like you're like come on get him like what's gonna what's gonna turn you're, you're waiting for the turn and sure enough it comes and you're like yes he got him you ready for the fun part oh, yeah. yeah i'm ready for the fun part do it, like, yeah. bro. takes his mustache off dude like that hey, i love that part too like he had a fake mustache <laughs> does he grab it, does it, grab, rabbit cat girl mustache so he and, and I, I, I was gonna say this is pretty cool because um on this one this i keep forgot i want to stop saying that um but i was gonna say that we could talk to uh, about the characters more i i've noticed uh, i'll say like uh, the the actor's name and i kind of want to talk about the character um and it, like you know thorn thorn thorn's character is like the, in the in this relationship with this like hippie lady hippie chick and they have a son and then uh but he's kind of like uh he's kind of like the cool like the leader kind of guy but he's but he because he does the right thing and uh you have the Matt character uh, played by Steve Lemmy, and he's like the the wild card. He's like the crazy guy. He's, and uh, I actually have on here. Where is it? I can't remember if I wrote it on the first one or the second one. Anyway, what I said was like Mac is that asshole that you want on your side, mm-hmm. and like Farva is that asshole that you just like keep around because he's fun fun to mess with, you know. Yeah, like every, I, I feel like I feel like even even in a work environment, like whether you want to or not, and it may just be that I've worked in food service and you know places where you don't have necessarily like HR kind of <laughs> stuff, you know, like you let everything slide. Yeah, yeah, it's like I know oh, what you're talking you about, brother. That. Yeah, so um, you know, like there's there's always like that one guy that you can unanimously like kind of pick on and just kind of you know give hell to and sometimes they fight back and sometimes they don't you know but that's that's what i kind of see in this dynamic it's like <laughs> you you have a bunch of guys that you know have no hr headquarters you you don't yeah. have anybody anybody overseeing them besides brian cox who <laughs> um you know he he even <laughs> like i love it whenever it, you mentioned that uh the grady guy is like whenever he's on the phone he's like Oh, I'll be embarrassed. Like, yeah, fucking your cousin embarrassed. <laughs> like, <laughs> she's not my cousin. <laughs> he does a great job. That actor, um, I, I want to say his name. He does a he does a really really good job. He goes, yeah, he's like, I didn't, yeah, I didn't fuck my cousin. He's not my cousin. <laughs> kind of been nineteen seventy seven when you. Got <laughs> but dude, that's the thing. Like, you, it's so tight knit. Like, you just feel that. Like, even even like the 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 chief and. I guess the other chief, I'm, I'm not too sure, but, um, you know, they, they have history, you know, yeah. and I, that was another thing that I wrote on here. Like, and I think that was an original idea was, or the, the original plan for like super troopers too, was it for it to be a, a prequel, you know, and it's like their dads are all around here and they're, you know, with Brian Cox's younger self and stuff like that. And that was going to be like super troopers too, but yeah. before, you know, and they have like seventies stashes and stuff like that. Um, I, I was I was thinking that that's what it was. I was thinking that um, they they these guys. That's one note I did I did put for both movies. I was saying that they um, they must have seen a lot of cop movies, cop cop mm-hmm. shows. They, they you can really grasp that. Hold on, I'm gonna do. There's a little thing here that fin- I finally got a thing to say. Remaining meeting nine minutes left. So let's see what happens. This thing, right. uh, let's see so we're, we're doing a, a first i mean it's midnight but uh things always go wrong when i start producing so i gotta just bite keep going but that uh sorry real quick it's a uh, chief uh, grady's name is daniel von bargen or Bar- bargen b-a-r-g-e-n uh, he's a he's a great actor he does he keep, you see him in a lot of movies um but uh yeah, like the the their their chemistry together. You 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 feel the hate. You I even like that one guy. He looks like Randy Quaid on the cops. The, um, yeah. the dude, he kind of was like the dude with, dude with the mustache, the yeah. handlebar mustache. Did <laughs> they get that oversized candy? <laughs> they look candy. candy, too. Got candy. Like, and that's that's the beauty of this movie, man. It's like they aren't they aren't trying to be mean. They just like give you pranks that are really inconvenient. Yeah, you know, like. It's like okay, yeah, we're we're gonna give him cotton candy, but make sure it's a lot of. Cotton I know, candy, but th- that's it. That's yeah. a good prank, man. Like, I'm not a I'm not a really a big prank guy. I don't like doing that because I don't like pranks on me, so I don't do them. 
but uh, yeah. but when I see good pranks, I'm like, dude, that's a good one. And, but that's like yeah. annoying. Like, what are you gonna do? That and sure enough, you see what happens. Like the cop gets mad. Shut up! And he just hits him right. But but that's another thing that I love that that car- that actor, that background actor, or that what I guess he'd be a principal kind of. He got a he got he took it. He took that hit to the head. And it, he like the, the it's like real cotton candy, I think. And he just takes it in the face, or maybe it's just cotton or like you know soft something. But whatever it is, he he, he does it's it. So, dude. Yeah, he's like, oh god, <laughs> he sells the scene really good. And the the that guy, that cop guy, the the Randy Quaid guy, he uh, he's he cracks me up because uh, I just I just don't like uh, he, we sit there with the water hose sprayed far but he just looks so gross <laughs> like, like he's enjoying it like it's like what, yeah. then, the, then the chief of the police he's like he far was like this is powdered sugar and he's like the lice hate it like he just says it with a straight face and then he keeps talking to far like the it's delicious it's delicious <laughs> like, <laughs> far far but, uh, dude, um, he made he the what do you call it? <laughs> yeah, the delicious. Um, Kevin, <laughs> Ke- Kevin Heffernan, Farva, he's he's great. He's really, he really, he's that guy's really smart. <laughs> I've seen him in interviews and I've seen him do stand up. He's really, really smart. And the way he makes Farva come alive is amazing. He, you oh, really man. get the, it's you're right, you get with Farva kind of like a like a family member that you don't want to, um. You can't really push away, but you're like, ah, damn it, we're, we're, you know, because the, there's the, uh, they, there is, they even, well, they pointed out number two that, that Foster and Farva never had a scene together. And then they have that scene and it's horrible. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's why you don't have a scene together. <laughs> and, then, and then like, it's kind of, that's one thing I like about the, the, the humility of number two. They kind of point out in front of you, like, hey, the, the, we're, we're, I mean, I, I mean, I don't want to jump into number two just yet, but I don't know. We'll, we'll wait. But, um, but like, the thing is he what was i gonna say this was go somewhere else oh i mean just the, the the everything ties together everything ties like there's like all these little stories you even get like the oh i like that i i, I think i i don't know if you figured this out but um i think i figured something out that there's a part when they're fighting when when they get to the end of the movie and there's the um the, the planes the you know the plane with the canadians and all the drugs mm-hmm. that they're yeah. fighting that there's um that you know I like that they have that um I'm sorry the Randy Quaid character's name I got I don't want to keep calling it Randy Quaid character but honestly but that, I think you should okay okay the Randy Quaid character and Max and Max um like hate for each other like even when he throws a bottle of syrup like it's mm-hmm. a build up and you want to see that fight because they really like first off that was a perfect throw by the way yeah like, sit down sit down <laughs> second one dude he got him with that sorry. second. But but go go. No no, you're right, dude. He, they they um, and I, I saw I, I saw a little video that was talked about the movie, and they actually drank syrup. Like, they end up drinking it. Like it's gross. I could I couldn't do that. I like to eat it, taste it, but not chug it. They did it because they said they put uh, ice. I, oh god, that <laughs> I know. So I, that's, that's runs my family, so I gotta be careful. But uh, with the uh, they were doing iced tea at first, but they said it was looking way too fake. So then they just did the real deal, and uh, they I think uh, Jay drank. Um, two and then eric drank rabbit drank uh three that's kind of that's a lot man that's a lot of sugar oh, but yeah. that's to do the scene they did it and they, i'm kind of you know thank you thank you um but uh dude, that scene's funny but i thought even like you know i love that they think i'm mexican you're not like that scene in the sound like that cracks me up because i, I have, have the chinchilla, chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> he says it he says it so like you would say it like that that guy would say it like that and you're just like god <laughs> i hate that it's like it's funny but i know there's like it's just they're just jokes and that's what that's what i love about this movie is just jokes they're just jokes this mm-hmm. movie is all everything is funny because it's just a joke take it for what it is but it's a joke and so all that and like this and that's why i say is these story ties they work so well because even you see that that hatred that mac has for the randy quaid character and then at the end when they fight they really um go at it so the thing i caught was team ramrod they mm-hmm. actually team ramrod that galakonikis guy they at the end, they because because remember, uh, authority hits him and then Galakadikas hits him back and then um, Farva gets mad and he tags him and then they, and then Thorny punches him. So they did a t- they did a double team and they did a team Ramrod. Team Ramrod. They got him. Yeah. You, you, you know, whenever you mentioned that you know that guy was Canadian, what if he was working for Rob Lowe back in the day? You know, What's, you know, run, running drugs to America. Oh. Uh, like, oh, you know what ties, I'm saying? Yeah, ties the, ties the could, story. Yeah, yeah he could, he that could, could have been be part the of, connection. That's a, I mean, aside from like those guys doing that, but you know, like, and that may be why the the governor wanted them to go in there is because that's true. Like, it, it may, she just thought that they could stumble across something. So or maybe, stupid. maybe, maybe she's doing something with it too. Because, um, 
there is there Possibly. is a, there's a few like i feel like when was the i think it was 20 is 2001 and then so it was a 14 year gap between these movies it was uh oh, it was no, more, 17 more. 17, 17, years. That's, 17 yeah. that's, that's see and that's what i think these guys that's i think it's a big gap they i wish they would have made this a little bit sooner but I, I don't know if it takes this long for them to write this this genius stuff so uh, we, i think it was just a matter of uh production and everything man i just don't think they because i mean it, it felt it felt like too like uh, well and this is their first sequel if I'm not mistaken, I mean, yeah. it, it's it's kind of daunting to do a to do a sequel just because you don't want to lose those expectations. But uh, but I will say know. with with this with this sequel, like they get, they give you what you want. You're gonna get yeah. more. You get more Farva. You even get another Farva, Canadian Farva, and then they meet <laughs> Bizarro World. That's funny because they both understand each other. Like they have that awkward moment, but <laughs> oh, we're the same. We're just go away. Like we don't we don't we don't need to argue. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the pointy, that, and that, dude, and like uh, that's another like that's a, a office person that's annoying that 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 far mm-hmm. like that it's like oh, I work with those guys that's that's kind of funny and then you and then I have uh, made like have my one on ones and hang out with them and I'm like oh there's a reason why nobody likes you and I I understand why I'm just gonna stop I just if you do, if you I'm just gonna talk to you enough that if you go postal you'll think about it but you won't do it like you're like ah oh, nah you're all right and you just keep going like like oh thanks but it's just it's like you know it's a, I'm joking but. But um, the uh, the joke on that, like, it's like there's so many layers of jokes. They're just they 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 slap you in the face, and I'm and I'm glad that they uh, they put written by Broken Lizard. Like, it's all of them. Yeah. It's all those guys, and they they all work together. And I I don't know if did you I don't know if you did any research on the the guys, but I don't know if they're an improv group or not. But uh, I think I think they yeah. might. I don't know if they are. I, I mean, it would make it would totally make sense if they right. were. All right, excuse me real quick. It says, I have less than a minute to upgrade. So let's see what happens. If it shuts down, we're going to pause real quick, and then I'm going to pay for the upgrade. I don't care. So we'll see. It says less than a minute, but uh, I, I don't have a timer anymore. So it's just, that's all it's saying. Let's see what happens. This is, I, I don't know how many uh, minutes you get on Skype. I haven't had any issues. I mean, on, on Skype. Uh, Zoom. Um, I, had, I don't know. Skype. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, get a, we'll get a plug from Skype. Skype, Skype. if you're listening. <laughs> Skype us you know, up. We're on Zoom, but yeah, you know, <laughs> we work together. We're plugging you over here. All right, let's see. I could, I, cause I could, I could pause this part and get us right back on. I just want to see what's going to happen because I do not want to. I don't want to lose the momentum of what we're doing. Um, if I like, cause I'm just, I'm, I mean, oh wait, I had the movie playing. I, I was gonna, I was actually gonna do something different too because I really do like this movie a lot. I was just gonna have it playing in the background while we talk. Uh, Super Troopers one. I mean, um, I think. For this being a it's an independent movie and that's what i really love that they did everything that they they did they did what they had to do to make this movie happen and they all i feel like they all put a big part into it they all put their 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 um their effort into it and you can tell like that you, you can tell this there's the first time it's done it dude we've had like two hour conversations dude we've, i've had i've had we've had a lot man i don't know why it's i guess they're i i mean i've, I've done a lot of podcasts with zoom already but uh let's keep going um I'm not gonna yeah. sit down. And sorry, uh, man. I'm I'm I had to let me get it on my oh, okay. iPad again that way. I mean, this is ridiculous. The plans are like, <laughs> like I want it free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. It should yeah, okay. Cool. All right. I'm gonna oh. end my call here. Okay. All three of us oh. are here. Echo. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> echo, echo, echo. <laughs> All right, so let me do this thing right here. All right, here we go. We're back on it. I'm recording. On. Testing on. One, two, two, two. I'm still going. You get All right. So, so the the big thing with this movie, um, I didn't realize that it was gonna uh, open some uh, some fun stuff in my head that I remember from. Just the 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 jokes, the pranks, they're funny. Like the um, all the like the meow. The, everybody knows the you know a lot of people know the meow scene and and the way um, Mac is laughing when he's his, his, like gut just that scene right there with Jim Gaffigan just like Ugh, and then he just, he does a little hand thing like that like you get get and he's meow get to it like I like, like oh, that's what I want I want to talk about. I, that reminds me of um, my basketball career. Um, with uh, you know playing seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, eleventh grade, twelfth one, and so on, and um, you know I stuck it with it the whole time, and I, I never really, I, you know I didn't give up. So 
what happens where well, you you grow this bond with so when you just play sports with someone and you, you travel with with, with a team teammates and you learn to build trust with each other you learn to like grow and you're young and it's cool that that you guys go through this experience because even now at this age at 36 like you know we my friends that knew me back then, the you know how we, how certain certain things I did on, on the basketball court, they they, they look at you sh- shooting three pointers or something. You know, it's kind of cool that we still have that that bond. And and this movie kind of reminds me of that. Like these are friends. They're like, hey, like they, they you can see their friendship through the through the cinema, and they it, um they really comes through when you can tell like they push each other. Like it's like a it's like you know the the hazing of rabbit. And I actually picked up this time that he is a rookie. Like he's a he's a rookie. He does rookie mistakes when he gets with the when he gets seduced by the Europeans. Like he falls for it. But then it, it that's what I was saying about 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 uh, that scene with um the milk, the mustache ride. He goes stop jumping on the bed. And you think it's a little kid. And he goes I said stop jumping on the bed. It's the the, it's the, the two European European people he has. Then and they and see even those people they're not just there for re- like the Jim Gaffigan. He's kind of like a, a just a gag that he's like um I I, I found out that the uh, that um Farva's character um in real life um that kevin would have issues with jim gaffigan because they were auditioning for the same roles and jim gaffigan would get him so he so he, he was kind of so that's kind of like the the thing kind of like that's kind of like a character that's in it but um you know outside of the cameos like it's the 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 the, 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 wow, the relationship they have it, it really breaks through but um the what was i saying the european people the couple they actually have a, a, a part because they take him to smoke the, the weed and watch the show and he's translating it for them. So he's actually helping them out. And I like that he has, they have, he serves a purpose and it's always like, they just let him out of the cell and they're just, but I, it's, it shows you what cops could do or are capable of if they want. Um, I have, I have been pulled over when I was like 21 by my friends that were cops. Uh, I'm not gonna say any names, but they pulled me over and I was like, what, what am I doing? And it, it was, they did the, the whole like step out of the vehicle and I stepped out and then they started telling me to do dumb things like jump on my head and jump on my one foot, grab, grab my butt cheek. And I was like, what, what the hell? Who's this? And I just heard laughing like, hey, what's up? I was like, whoa, you guys are cops? I was like, oh, this is cool. You know, like, uh, I was like, oh, cool. You, we'll keep the streets safe. That's good. But, uh, but I do, I, I do um, love that they took something that you can kind of take too serious and they put a spin on it. And it's funny. Um, I, I want to know where they got, I want to know where they got their inspiration. I, I need to look some ideas, uh, ideas up or some uh, interviews that they had, uh, where, where, where they think of this. Cause it's, it's a beautiful script. It's funny. I feel like these guys were just sitting down and just throwing spitballing ideas and let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. And it was just, it was just like cohesively working. I mean, a lot of things always are hard to do and it seems like that it might have been tough for them but they they put the work in and it shows there's a lot of craftsmanship in, in this movie there's a lot of there's a got little good, good little scenes little, little quirks um beautiful beautiful like right now i'm just watching in the background like just no, no music and it's the guy's tripping out and he's just like <laughs> snowsberries taste like snowsberries you guys want to go to mexico like it's the opening up yeah. of the like i mean it, that's what i have down here too man like that first scene is iconic like it really is like you have that whole aspect of like i mean i don't know if you know i don't want to speak for you or anything but i've definitely been in that situation where you get pulled over and you're like oh no like you're you're doing something wrong and you know you are and um but you know it's uh it's nerve-wracking dude and they're just sitting there and then they think it's fine and then you have that like you said, the one guy at the end who tears up the dollar bill, he's like, oh, I was going to pull out my gun and do all this. And dude, they stopped right then. It's like they had a microphone in the car or something. And you, they're just listening and just waiting for the perfect time. Um, like, like, but like, yeah, dude. Oh, sorry. No, 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 you, go, you, go, you go, you go. I also put down here, it's like the reason I feel like the reason they have, you know, and this is probably just because it's like they were trying to get a good scene and they didn't want a whole bunch of cars on the road or anything like that. But it, it, that's like the only car on the road, yeah. you know? So I, I had down here, like, they, they have no one to patrol, so they just fuck with each other and, like, the few people that they do come in contact with. Um, but, yeah, man, like, that that whole whole scene is just great. And plus, you get to you get to meet the entire... You know, you get to meet yeah, everybody. All the guys, yeah, like you, it, you, you get to be introduced to each each of the characters. Like, oh, okay, Foster's just you know lazy. He's phoning it in, man. <laughs> you know, he's like fishing on the job. Like, how are you doing, today? Good looking. <laughs> you know, fishing on the job. You know, and just like that kind that kind of guy. And then you have uh, Rabbit and Thorny, and you know, Rabbit. He's learning. Thorny. He's he's screwing with these guys because, dude. I used to have I used to have a sign in my uh, in my room. 
and it was it said no littering. So what I did is I just crossed out the no and I put littering and at the bottom and like dot 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 and just littering and oh littering and yeah it was like it was like an actual road sign and I just like <laughs> took a marker and edited yeah, it yeah. myself, you know. And uh but yeah, man, I would that's that's the thing. That's what I really love about movies, man. It's just like it can influence you in in just little things. Like, okay, I see that, I see that sign. This is how I wanna how I wanna make it. And this is what I see every time I see that sign. You know, I don't see no littering, I see littering and yeah, littering and littering and it's a totally littering totally and. new symbol for you. And yeah, uh, yeah. I, I even like that. And that's the, and the second one. They do that too. They go glittering and glittering. Like they're making yeah. fun. Like they're making fun of themselves, man. They're like, yeah, you like that? They'll bring it back. You know, like they yeah. they they give you what you want. Like this is this is a very satisfying, um, both on palates. Like this is like like this is like eating a steak with filet mignon, and uh, you know it's got. I, I'm gonna be yeah with the, wrapped in bacon. Though. It's like eating a steak filet mignon, <laughs> and it's got lobster and crab and all the good stuff. And then you get enough helping of this, but it's just it's the same stuff. But you're just like, man, I love it. I'm not. I'm not. This is good stuff. I'm not gonna complain. Well, now that I uh, I'm working. At, a, at the meat department it's like uh you know having prime compared to wagyu oh you know mm. oh yeah let me, let me let me let me throw that out there for you you know right. since i i have a little Ed- bit more uh <laughs> please please sir educate educate us i really I, I love this educate us so what wagyu is is a mix between our angus cow and the kobe beef from japan and and the kobe beef is uh you know it's treated like royalty okay it is a cow that is fed beer. It is marbled beyond perfection. Marbling is going to be that intramuscular fat. Mm. All right. If you don't like fat, well, this may not be the cut for you, buddy. Because, my God, it only you don't you don't even hardly see any meat in there. It's just all fat, mm. and it's fantastic. I love it. It's like butter. You mm. know, it's like having butter <laughs> already like, mixed inside of like, your steak. It's like a butter tart goulash. What's he say? The second one. I don't know butter cut. Like it's called. No. Oh, was it a uh, uh, butter cut? Uh, butter tart yule log. You love. You love. Yeah. Butter. butter. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then these they have those infrared grounds. I'm going back for my butter log yule log. Farting. Like. Oh I, I was. Like, my, I think. I think that's the one of the only gags. Um, that I was looking forward to on the from the I was like when they put those glasses those guys, those heat seekers somebody's got to fart I know these guys they did it I was like it's got to be Farva and then I get the fart zone he even shows you he has a sign that says the fart zone when they're moving in with it when he gets in front of a Max um, desk but um, I like that you saw a little development in Foster now he's the tech guy um, you see Mac is still the same crazy guy uh, but he's not super he's more he's a more chill a little bit but he's still like when they fight I caught at the end when he fights Will Sasso. Uh, he like runs at him and Will Sasso just tosses him. And I love that Will Sasso's <laughs> in this movie. He's does such a, he's does a great look Canadian. Like, I think he's actually Canadian too. Like he, he does a really, really good. And, you know, that's what I was thinking about earlier. Actually. I was like, you know, it would have been awesome if they, if they got like Jim Carrey to play like the Rob Lowe character. Yeah. I mean, not to say that Rob Lowe didn't do a great job, but I, is Rob Lowe Canadian? I don't know. Maybe. That's a good I don't, one. I don't know if he is, but I mean, like I said, I, I thoroughly enjoyed him and that i just i thought that would be like that would be super cool if you know they had somebody like that or maybe dan Aykroyd. yeah he's a little older but you know yeah i i I, i'll I'll say that i did like his performance um but i am also on the rob low train i i actually like a lot of his performances and all the movies he's done um when he came out recently on the he's from virginia so he's pretty close yes those yeah, when I, when it, when I just saw him on the the JR, JRE, the Joe Rogan, I don't watch all of them, um, but I do watch. Ooh, I haven't watched. I haven't watched that one. It, it's, it's good. It's good, man. And this, and it, the, the the I don't watch all the the Joe Rogans, but the um, the one I the ones I do like are the ones where he's super interested. Like when you see him as a fan, that's when I'm like I'm on it. I'm like cool. So when he was with um with Rob Lowe, he he kind of he's like, hey, you're an actor from the '80s, and you know you're a part of the the Brat Pack and all this stuff, and um but he he's developed in a lot of different things you know and he's a, and he seems like a very serious like heartthrob kind of guy and he does comedies and he does them well like he he really he really throws that wedge so i i like i i you know he does a lot and then he has he has like um through that through you gotta kind of i, I would recommend watching that podcast it's pretty good 
Um, okay. And you learn a lot about him and the stuff that he's done outside of like the movies. And, and he, he's also like a, um, like a uh, conspiracy guy in a way. So, Ooh, he, but, but like, but, but like, but like in like the, like he doesn't go on the crazy ones. Like he just kind of does like animals and, or like, you know, Bigfoot and stuff like that. That's why I love the Dan Aykroyd, Joe Rogan. Cause dude, he was just like, he was throwing it out there, man. Like ghost are real aliens. Yeah. They're among us, man. Like yeah. I do. He was just all about it. And I, I just love that, man. Like I, I don't know. I, those are the Joe Rogans that I really enjoy. Like, I listened to the Ron White one just because I love Ron White. <laughs> those are funny, man. And, dude, they are <laughs> hilarious. And honestly, I'll, I'll be quite honest, dude. Like, the the comedian or the ones that have comedians on there, I tend to not listen to as much as odd as that sounds like. I like the Joe Rogans where he has, like, PhDs and, like, you know, um, or, like, what's another one? Oh, whenever he had like uh oh Commander Favor or something like that on there, I I, I do like the Alien Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. Those uh, those are awesome. Uh, and, and I forget it, it makes me feel like he knows these people, but he doesn't know them. So he's getting to know them, and you're getting yeah. going along for the ride. So I tend to forget that he's like I think they all know each other. They don't. So mm -hmm. sometimes he's like oh it's like the Tom DeLong uh, podcast was kind of weird because Tom DeLong's like yeah. super into it. And Joe Rogan's in, like he gets he's into conspiracies, he's, so he's he gets into it. So you're like, God, they're really going down this hole. They're showing you, they're going down a rabbit hole together, and they're showing us. This is pretty cool. But but then after that, like Joe Rogan's like, no, that dude's really like he's, he's out there. You know, he's like he's, you know, they 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 were asking him interviews, and he's like, no, we were talking, and he he believes all that stuff, and he's 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 got a lot of uh, this, I don't know, he's like I don't know, I don't I didn't really remember it, so I'm not gonna talk about it too well. But um, I remember him being like that. But uh, I think like for the Rob Lowe uh, character, I liked him a lot. Uh, just like he's like a nonchalant, like "Hey, what's going on?" Like "Hey, it's, it's a workout," you know, with the with the guy's penis. Like, <laughs> God, oh man, I don't want to break it. Like, I want to wait. I want to wait for Super Troopers two because Super Troopers one so good. But I I will say that two two is great, man. Two is two is just as good as one. I think. Can you do you think two could be a standalone movie? Like, if you never saw one, would you just laugh at uh, two? Or could could you so. could you watch these two and then one and it makes makes sense because I, I I felt I felt that when um the scene where they're all wearing all black when they when they break it into Canadian the the mountainies uh, the mount the mountaineers when they break into their house Mount yeah and, mountains yeah yeah when they when the, the mountains when they break into their house um and you can see this Will Sasso guy come out and then you see like the 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 cops I guess like all of them I was like look. That's Matt because that's what he does. Then Thorny's the next one because he's the leader, so he has to go next. And then it's got to be Farva because Farva's got to try to prove himself that he's the tough guy. And then you see uh, the rookie in the back because he didn't know what to do. And then you see Foster will has the tech stuff because then he shocks him in the testicles. So it's like he has all the tech, all the tech gear that he gets come out, and the triangulator even pops up. I was like, when is that thing gonna come back? <laughs> so you see the growth. As I was saying, you you still get to see these growths and these uh, these characters. Yeah. I love it. They really, I mean, it's seventeen. I don't know if it took seventeen years for them to really um get all that or i don't know how long how long it took them to write the movie but man they really brought it and they, it's they, they it's funny i do like the beginning of um of one with the the both of the movies have these like little short movies um in, in, in between of them i mean the in the middle of them and like it introduces you a lot about the characters that first one i just like that you see the the road the you see the state trooper the kind of road you kind of just it's it's showing it and even says like a jersey short production so i'm like oh that's kind of sounds kind of different and um, mm -hmm. I never paid attention to that, that before, but now I was like, oh, that's cool. And then uh, in the second one, you go straight into the movie. Like, they don't even mess around. And that's what I like about sequels. If you're going to do a sequel, don't don't give me – just fill me in as we go. I don't need you to um, try to re-show me the characters, new things. Just, just, just let, let, it, let, it, let us catch it. Let it, let it slip out. And that's what they did um, between the two movies. The the first one, for sure, I, I mean, there's we have so many scenes we haven't even talked about. There's so many things. This is just such I'm a great... Yeah, yeah, start start popping them off, man, because I'm, I'm going to just laugh with you, man. But I... So, I think, oh. yeah, was it whenever Foster's... Uh, okay, I'm just going to go back to the first one. All right, we'll, we'll stick with that. Uh, just a few that I've written down. Uh, we've, we've talked about a couple. Uh, whenever Foster's talking about Johnny Chimpo and he's trying to explain it to the cat... Uh, John Chippo. Yeah, John Chippo, right? <laughs> and then uh, he's like, his butler tries to keep him in line, but no. Yeah. Like, he just, like, he just so nonchalant. Like, um, and this is where I had that, that thing about Mac and Farber that I was talking about earlier. Um, he, and then after that, uh, getting high and watching John and Chimpo, just, oh, shenanigans, dude. 
Like, oh, I love that scene too. It's like, hey, Barbara, where's that place with all the goofy shit on the wall that you love to go to? Shenanigans. Oh, you mean shenanigans? <laughs> shenanigans? You know, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're all stoned, man. The captain doesn't even, he's like, it just blows right past that part. And we're yeah. just like going right back into it. <laughs> shenanigans. Uh, do, one, one thing that I really, that I thought was pretty damn funny this time, whenever, um, Foster and Ursula were meeting up and they were supposed to dress up like bikers. Oh, bikers. Yeah. And just like just like that miscommunication, like, oh, okay, you meant this. And like she comes in just like looking like Sandra D and he's <laughs> over there looking like a knockoff uh Lance Armstrong kind of. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that you're, you know, and uh, it shows you the, the lengths they have to go to see each other. But then it also you also feel for Foster because She's kind of using him, but then she falls for him. So then it's cool that she makes her appearance in the second one a few times, you know, mm-hmm. the Ursula character. But they're, they're, she's, it's, I like that they showed that like grotesque side of how guys are, or they treat women uh, sometimes. And I like how they, it shows like that, that cop guy, man, what, you know, they go, hey, Ursula, where's the TP at? Oh, you mean the one on your foot? Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, the one on my foot. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, he, he um he's kind of like an idiot. Like my wife knows like he's trying to tell her like this you you're, you're a woman and she's like nah dude like you you guys stick me here like she uh, that scene at the baseball game is really important because she's trying to tell him I need a I need an advancement and they're not gonna give it to her and, like mm-hmm. she wants to be saying like, nah and that and that's when she's like well you're not gonna hook me up so I'm gonna turn on you guys and I caught that this go around and I've seen that movie a million times and I I never caught it till I really sat down and focused because I was just like oh I'm gonna really I want to enjoy this. Um, I was, I'm happy I did what I, we did tonight and I uh, watched it, uh, watch, I watched the back to back cause they're, it's like the roller coaster of, um, laughs just kept coming in. They kept hitting harder and harder and harder and harder. And I was just like, Oh, this is so funny. I could just, these movies are hilarious. Um, a lot of the movies we've been watching are comedies. And I think that's what they, they've been, I've been noticing that we, we do have a lot of a uh, comedy taste that we like to watch. Um, you know, other than like made, but it's still a dark comedy. So it makes you laugh. There's a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, jokes in that, but but this one, man, they 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 you, like you you want a comedy? This is gonna smack you in the face, comedy. Like you gotta get it. And I I I was gonna ask you, do you think this is just stoner humor or is this actually like you can it's just like humor humor? Like this is because it it seems to me that now this is kind of like a a, a piece, but uh, in like time, you know, where where back then we're because like you now marijuana is legal now in most states, you know, some states. So yeah. now it's like you know, the the Long Texas. Yeah. Um, yeah. The idea. No, I. <laughs> I think it. I think it is. Uh, just humor, humor. Uh, I think they, if you were stoned and you're watching this, you're definitely gonna think it's a lot funnier. Um, you know, I think it just just because you, you get outside the fact of once once you can just kind of take yourself back and be like, all right, these cops are just like they're just fucking around. Like, because, you know, whenever you really think about it, I mean, it's a serious profession. I mean, you're, they deal with a murder, you know, yeah. like, and it's, it's very lighthearted. It's not like, oh, you know, it's this, there's a dead person. Well, the captain you know? says, God, you guys, you guys handed over murder. Like, he's like, come on, it's right yeah. there. And, and exactly. like, it shows you like, they, like that um, right now is the scene where they're fighting from the, 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 the Winnebago, with the RV. And it shows Mac like going all crazy. Like, uh, yeah, I, I like. Well, Oh, sorry. What I was going to say, man, I actually, whenever, so you know how they have the pig in there? Mm-hmm. So what's, what's the whole point of this, this pig? You know, I think it's just a little bit of foreshadowing. I think it's like show, telling you, oh, the pigs did it, you know? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I thought it was to keep the cops out, I'll keep the state troopers away. Like I thought it was a distraction for them, but you're right. The pig, it's like right in your face. Dun dun dun! Conspiracy. Ben found one. Dun, 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 dun. Gets a point. Gets a point right there. That's a good one. Dang! Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I did not piece that together. It's right in your face. That, that's the beautiful part about this movie. All those things are the gems are right in front of your face. I like how oh, they have the trading. But the I'll give you the fat guy for uh for rabbit and for I like I like that like I like, I like they they they're doing like trading card like they have some of your guys you have you're you're you're, you're asking them for a back. Um, and the, yeah, see the hazing, the locker room scene, they're just messing with. And I, 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 I love Brian Cox's performance, man. He just comes in every scene. He comes in like a hothead and he just lays it in. And I want to say that I think they're really drunk in the part where they're driving around because they, if they're not, there's a damn good actor, man. 
he, he's oh, God. They, but I, it looks like they're actually having fun. Like they're just driving around, drinking, and I mean, they you kind of say rabbits the sober one. So do they, they made the rookie not drink, so they can. <laughs> but but uh, them doing all that stuff, and then and then uh, <laughs> Brian Cox goes, Arsenal, I'm naked, ah, and he like walks walks <laughs> off. He does it all funny, like when he when the uh, Foster's on the on the uh, walkie-talkie. Even that scene is important. That Foster is in them. That she's helping him out and. She's guiding them. They they need it, and then that's when she she realizes you don't have guns. You're drunk, and like ah no, we're not that drunk, you know. Um, Sober as a bird. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I, I'll say that. <laughs> I'll say that Farva's character, like even in that 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 last scene, like he's he's good at what he does. Like he's just he's just dumb, because mm-hmm. like when he has to ca- he catches Mac out of nowhere, you know. He does he does do like his jobs, like like when they fight, he does step up. So I see Farva is like a, he's a good asset, but he's a pain in the ass. Like he's, he's going to do, and that's why they always have him on the radio because they don't want to deal with him. And, and it's just, <laughs> don't call me radio, Car 42. Don't call me Car 42, radio. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> like these little jokes, man. Like I, I want to, I, I want to quote this movie so bad now. Like just little things that they do. Um, you oh, know, man. you, you see the, you see that the problems are actually having, like, I mean, you see with, um, with, uh, Thorn, Thorn, um, Thorn, what's the uh, what do you must name Thorn? Thorn. 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 They show it with him. Thorny is what they call him. Um, they yeah, show Thorny. they show they show it with him because um, he's going through the like they might get relocated and him and his girlfriend might have to he had to move, so they show mm-hmm. they show that part where he has issues um, throughout the whole movie. Yeah, Thorny, we're at, we're at, throughout the whole movie because he's they don't know what they're gonna do. They don't know where they're going. And even even um, Max says, "I'm I'm applying a postal a postal job." Or you have a guard outside a post office. Like, well, at least you finally get to shoot somebody. <laughs> like those little, jo- those little jokes. Um, man, this is I. I just I everything. This movie stitched so perfectly. Um, yeah. Well, and you know another cool thing about this movie too is like the way it ends. Like they still get shut down. You know, like they're it's 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 very it's uh you know kind of grounded in that aspect. Like. They still get shut down. It's like, oh, you expect them. They did this big, great service, and they get shut down. Of course, they do become local cops uh, until the Fred Savage incident. But um, when they still tie it in together, they still you still tie the first and the second. They tie them together. Like there yeah, is, this, and, this is a true sequel. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. You want me to tell you my favorite Brian Cox moment? throughout both movies oh man i i want to hear this because he brings it in the second one just as well oh dude so whenever it's in the second one actually it's whenever he's doing karaoke and they're like gee captain captain just sit the fuck down i'm singing right now like that that cracks me up i have that issue no no no. and then just keeps on singing he has like two more lines left I, I waited an hour. I'm singing. I'm singing like you. I, I, I waited on you. <laughs> exactly. So man. he's he's either a hot headed sober guy or he's a drunk mess funny guy. Like in this movie, and uh, he's got two, two. Um, what do you call it? He's got two personas. Um, yeah, he's he's that calm, cool, and collected. And then as soon as as soon as you really piss him off, then he just turns. You know. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, honestly, I, I kind of see him as a man, the manager of the bunch, and that that does kind of come in handy, you know. Whenever is, you're, oh, my eyes are drying up. Uh, he is a mentor for sure, mentor character. Um, well, and he, he even said that he created that prank with uh, whenever yeah. they're out on the range. Yeah, yeah, and then he shoots the glass, and that's another thing I caught. I didn't catch the first time. Mac is getting off to that. And 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 Thorny's helping him out. He's shooting him in the nuts. Like he get, he likes that, and that's why uh, uh, the captain says you're a sick fuck because he's like he really wants him to shoot him. Like he's really we use blanks. Like it's yeah, man. It also shows like you know he brings out the what they what they already know, but the new version is crazier. Yeah, well, and honestly, that's that's how a lot of that stuff goes. You know, like you start off, you know, fairly fairly level and. And then it just kind of gets ramped up as you as as it progresses, you know, because there had to be more more cops that went through before these guys. I mean, they're fairly young compared to Brian Cox. Yeah. Um, oh, you're right. The, the age difference is like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Like, but they do have like a. Um, he does have kind of have a dad figure, kind of. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. For sure. But yeah, man, it's uh, yeah, the first one, solid, dude. I. I loved it. Love it, love it, love it. 
I, I, I think even with the uh, Foster and Ursula uh, relationship, it shows you how a goofy dude gets a hot chick. So, mm -hmm. you know, you really, it's kind of simple. Um, just be <laughs> oh, yourself. There's a streaker outside. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to butter your bread. I'm going to butter your bread, dude. That, you, got, you got these? You, you don't got these at your station? Um, I, but even when he tells a story, like it shows the relationship between Mac and Foster and then Mac's more pissed off. I like that Brian Cox does that where he goes, uh, where the captain goes, you guys shake it off. Like, no, do it. Like, cause they're, they're, he knows that they need to get back together. And then, you know, Mac's mad at him cause he, he was doing that behind his back. And that's like his brotherish relationship he has. And you share, they share everything with each other. Um, oh, like then that does, I do like how that comes through. Like, like when you see the, um, like the, the care for each other that they have. There's this, there's a few scenes I noticed where I was like, he just as a like a filmmaker's eye, a point of view. There's that scene at the end where Brian Cox is reading the note. Um, Rabbit is holding um, Arlo's. It's you know, um, uh, Thorny's son. But in that scene, like to tell an actor, to hey, this the stranger's gonna carry you. It's kind of weird, but if it's your friend and he they already know each other, like you know, then they're all they all do hang out with each other. And, and I think I'm thinking maybe that is his real kid. I don't know, but he was he was real comfortable with it. So I was like, it's easy. You could see that the 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 cool part about that they they all get the energy in that on that set, and then um, I like I like how the the characters interact, and when the um, when the captain looks at Mac and he goes, hey, what's your what's your you know your your, your fly zip after he was you know uh, masturbating in the car with the with the speedometer with speed this one, yeah <laughs> he was he was doing it with that speed uh, clock gun uh, when he was um, masturbating, and uh, yeah, cause cause uh, that's when Rabbit did the little prank. And um, yep. the chief, the captain goes, "Hey, what's what are you doing with the with your wiener hanging or something like that?" And then um, Max is like, "Oh, I was like you know masturbating or something." And then Thorny goes, "What are you doing with the billboard?" He goes, "Yeah, oh the ladies, yeah, like 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 he's done it too, like you know, like he's like he's been part of it. He's like, oh yeah, we I've, I've done that too. Like I like that they have those little that little. It's like that's a very small little four line scene, just a small little smidgen in that movie. It's probably two or three seconds long, and it it, it hits me because I like having coworkers like that where." Where you're working with somebody and they're they're like, oh look, I can tell it, I can tell that you, you went and did this and all yeah, yeah, like oh yeah, man, hell yeah, like I like you just kind of you have that um openness with it. You're very comfortable mm -hmm. with the individual where you're like, hey, you, you know, and I, I like that that movie has that, and I, I think that's what really sells it. Um, I I I, I was younger when I, you know, so I was in high school, so I I got the jokes, but I didn't really get the story, and I love now that I get the story, man. Like they even shows you how they make mistakes when this, uh, you know, they they pulled over um Galicanucus and. He does repeater, and in the yeah. car, and then and then the he goes, "What happened? Well, we uh, we, uh, we we gotta go carry it away with repeater." And they go, oh yeah, that happened. And they all did they all did repeater right then and there, like oh, that that's that's yeah. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, <laughs> like they they all do it. Like, and and he does it. He he Maxwell does it. Like he doesn't stop doing the repeater. But they both get in the in the in the back of the truck, and that guy just locks them in there. And they didn't, you know, he's a big guy. They didn't think about it. But I and, think. And that was the second time I had crabs. <laughs> crabs. And. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. yeah man oh dude so sorry going back to the the firing range one of my favorite favorite quotes from this movie and then sometimes i would say it's like uh what was it uh whenever he's he's shooting him or he's he's asking he's like how are you shooting today thorny and uh he shows him oh i'm doing great and it's like what about this one up here or what about that little guy up there my little guy yeah, you gotta worry about that little guy. <laughs> you know, like I love it. Do you think? Do you think there's something more to that? Because I don't get that. Because all those shots are pretty spot on, and that one's way over there. Like, what? What was that? What was the point of that? Well, so my best guess is just to. <laughs> I think he was. It was just like a starting off shot, you know. Yeah. And and then just to kind of like fuck with Mac a little bit, not not necessarily. That's what I'm saying. Do you think? I, I mean, it very well could have been like he just had an off shot, you know, uh, just to fuck with him and just be like, eh, you may die. Because obviously Mac has done this before. Yeah. You know, this isn't the first time that he has done this this prank. And uh, so uh -oh. it, uh, it, sorry to it may it may. What's up? Uh, I think I, it, I'm going to just I'm going to have to get the upgrade because it's, it's asking again. What is going on? Cost? Uh, I don't, I'll get it. Don't worry. It's like fourteen bucks, but it's, but uh, but I'm like, wow, like this is crazy. Like uh, we, I want to know what I'm doing wrong. I want to know what's going on because this has never happened. Or maybe I mean maybe maybe uh, so maybe they're keeping track of us. Yeah, maybe they are. So we're we're gonna um, just a heads up. There's gonna be another pause. So we're gonna keep talking for these nine minutes, and then uh, we'll we'll there'll be a pause, and we'll be right back. 
Anyways, yeah. So the 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 right that that scene where um, Mac has gotten gotten shot in the nuts, like that's a that's a. I mean, that was just a scene that they just were doing it. Like they, the information was just to tell the the captain what was going on, but they were doing that scene. Like this is like, what we're doing on our time off, or so we're doing how we practice. This is how we get better. Like you know, I, I it just reminds me like the, like you know like like the basketball guys, like the boys, or you guys you guys hang out and. You guys, just, you 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 have to depend on each other. So it's it's like a there's like a codependent, not a, a, a kind of dependency, but it's like you you enjoy each other's company, your presence. Like you enjoy each other's company's presence more than you enjoy doing your job. You know, so it's like you enjoy your you enjoy your job, but I mean you enjoy your your the people you work with more. And I, I think it it shows a lot. Um, I didn't I didn't think that I was gonna really like hit hard on this movie, but man, it it really just started like it started ranking and started jumping in the rankings, and I started telling myself, wow, like this i don't i i, I want to say that um super troopers one is is a we're gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna unleash it it's uh up there it, it probably it probably jumped all the way up into my like top 10 oh wow well yeah i think it made that that impre- uh, impersonation on, impression on me that it impressed me that they, the way they did it i like all the way the characters are the shots the angles the, um, the storytelling there's just so many stories in this in this uh, movie um and it's i mean to some people like it's not like like pineapple express is to me the stoner movie and that's a real big stoner movie there's i, I we might have to break that one down once in a while, maybe once in the future because it's just I, I don't really feel like that movie has um i don't feel like that movie has a lot of uh like story behind it it's just kind of like goofy you know this shows you what they do what two like kind of stoner guys do where this one is not really like that this one's like a team of, of guys that um like it has like those humor because there's a lot of like like in the first one, there's a lot of um, not like the second one. The second one has a lot of like like um, like drugs and and marijuana and stuff like that. This first one that has a you see the bundles and there's there's the mayor. <laughs> but you see, well, the, it starts it starts off with them smoking weed yeah. too. So you know, uh, it's a funny story about Pineapple Express. You know, not to get off on a terrible tangent, but uh, you know, I whenever I first saw that, I saw it in theaters, and I had never never smoked or anything like that so i had a totally different perspective on it you know from the first time i saw it yeah and then afterwards yeah you know and so um yeah with this one man i don't know it's it's funny that you mentioned that dude because because i feel like in in some of these movies man like whenever they I, I don't know what movie it was. It might have been Tenacious D or something like that. But apparently, oh, it's yeah. like whenever, whenever you see weed, that's when you're supposed to smoke. And so that may have, you know, <laughs> that may have been the idea here too. Like, all right, we're gonna show these stoners driving down, and they show the the package of, oh, okay, we're finding Johnny Chimpo weed, you know. And then the cops are smoking later on in the movie. So I, I got, I gotta say, I feel like there's more. I feel like there's more marijuana in the first one than the second one. In oh, the no, second no. one, it's just like acid and stuff like that, right? No, I'm saying, I'm saying that's what they went harder in the second one. They did, uh, they did more um, drugs and. Oh one. yeah, harder. Yeah, yeah harder. They went harder. Yeah, okay. so, yes. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah. In, the, in the first one, I feel like it just kind of they just talk about it a little bit, but they don't really. Um, what do you call it? They they talk about it just like uh the, they yeah, basically just drugs and they just show up alcohol. I mean marijuana and, and alcohol. And then uh, in the second one, they went, they go real hardcore because they, they have the bus, you know, in the second one. And then you have the Sean William Scott character with the Dwayne, uh, Dwayne, um, sorry, Damon Wayans uh, Jr. character. And then um, like that, that, uh, that segue, just the way they start the movie for part two is hilarious. Like they, that, oh, I agree. That, 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 that's a good way to start the movie. I like the way they ended in number one. I like the way they, they spring on for the story. Um, they did it again in part two um, with, with Super Troopers one. Uh, do you want to do ratings real quick, or we got you know we got five minutes before this thing dies. Let's just keep talking about one, and then we'll yeah. start. Then we'll start off. But I mean, I, like I said, I don't have that many. I don't have that many that many notes on this because I feel like anything you bring up, I'll be able to just just talk start talking because as I was watching it, I, I like I said, I do want to just watch the movie. I don't want to take notes. But the first one, I was just like, I had to stop taking notes. I was like, this is just funny. Like you can you can you anything you bring up about, it, I'll, I'll I'll remember instantly. And even like the like the scene with the um, like it, it's 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 uh like it shows uh, rabbit's rookie like he's, he shows all his like mi- mistakes in the whole and then they're like right in your, your plain sight and i didn't even pay attention like he like he like you he, they sell that scene with the the euro girl like you really you, you want him to be like yeah get her you know like hold her like mm-hmm. like they, it, they see the way they sell it it's like super sexy and, and it's like really 
it's really in you know like he like it's hard for him he's like uh you know is there anything you want me to do to you or you do to me you know it's like it's really it's really thick and they, he can't help it he gets mesmerized like the spell brings him in and thorns over there with his kid and i like that too that he brings his kid with him along for the ride <laughs> you know like here sit and sit in uh uncle rabbit's lap no no don't don't do that <laughs> not right now it's like oh and then whenever thorny's asking this kid about like having an uncle come by he's like oh you mean like uncle fred yeah. you know what so you see you see thorny who's like really comfortable with swinging with his girlfriend but as soon as he thinks there's somebody else yeah. there you know like uh oh there's you know there's something kind of amiss I, I thought that was kind of interesting too I got, I caught on that Uncle Fred part. I I uh, caught how they filmed it, and I was like, man, that's so cool. Like it's they 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 sneak it, because the kid. It's hard to film with children, you know. You, you for them to say it, so they just filmed the kid behind the cage where you can't see his mouth, but they did a voiceover. I go, this kind of sounds a little voiceover, and I, I was I, I as I focused, I was like, no, it's for that's they were, I mean, I've never noticed this before, but I want to. I've been seeing it, and I've I've, I've worked with you know when I, when I record my son and we do stuff. It's like you don't get what you want, so uh, you, it's all it's all you got to kind of get what they give you. And um, like, and that part with um, with the kids, I was like, whoa! It really like it shows you that that that. Sorry, I'm losing that that scene is just cracking me up. Um, that uh, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, um, I forgot. Sorry, I am so sorry. Yeah, he oh, just talking about kids. Yeah, I was saying working like, the, oh, where your kids? I'm sorry. Yeah, the the being behind the uh, the bars, they put him there so you can you can you don't it blocks his um his voice uh his mouth you, 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 you just had the voiceover and i was like oh, i like that i didn't before i never would pay attention to something like that but now i'm really like bringing it in and the way they shot that the way they they, they got around that that's cool that's a that's a problem like i don't know if they had that problem on set i don't know how hard their set was but that that's a, a good way to kind of get through that scene and still get him to um talk you know because he's he they're just driving around it, it's kind of hard uh to, to have a kid say his lines they're like, especially that young yeah. uh we got two minute drill two minutes Two All right, two uh, minutes. We'll yeah. finish up talking about one. Yeah, and then, uh, two I, I, minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, two minute uh, talk. Um, the the ties. I mean, from the beginning, it just brings everything in. Like there, there's a point to every scene in both those movies. Yeah. But one, there's a point to every everything. One scene leads to the next scene, leads to the next scene, then gets back to the, the scene it started with, which I think I have I, to agree with you. That's very clever. I think this movie is very clever, very witty. I mean, even right here, like Ursula paper and they're like that that to me is like you don't you, know, you can't just talk you can't talk yeah, like man. that well, and and i agree with you man like i think this movie is it's very well well told like you you get you get the start where you see those kids in the car and then it ends up with the kids at a party you know like you you see that you see everything kind of flow through and you're like oh, okay they're they're just delivering beer now i mean it's believable too like you could see that happening. You know, their their station gets so down. You're like, oh man, you know. Yeah. And um, you know, I thought that was I, I I totally agree. Like, I feel like the first one wrapped up a lot better than the second one did. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, me personally, I think it it was very like even with the scenes after where you know like they're playing what was it the shooting ducks with that one kid who 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 ate all the acid. Oh you know yeah, yeah, like, yeah, at the end. Like, even they, even they, they throw the, they throw the, um, the, uh, the fire extinguisher and he goes, "Hey, what the hell?" Marvel. Yeah. And they say Marvel. <laughs> oh, hold on, it's gonna, it's gonna turn off. So let me see, it's gonna turn off real quick. So we're gonna do a pause. So pause. It. All right. Sorry about that interruption again. It's, it's kind of, it's uh, a good and a bad thing because. I think this is one of our going to be one of our better podcasts that we've done. You know, we're getting better at this, and this is a movies two movies that we really really enjoy, and we're talking about them. So there's going to be a little bit of problems, but the good thing is, just like Broken Lizard, we had to go and find a, the pro, the find the issue and fix it. I think we solved it. I think we figured out what the problem was, and uh, yeah, we were doing a different setup this time than we usually do. So I think this should be fine. We shouldn't have any issues this time. No more interruptions. Um, uh, do you want to rate number one? Um, or do you want do you want to go through talk to number two and then rate them both at the same, at the end? Let's let's talk number two and rate them at the end. All right, I like that. All right, well, like I said, like um, I mean, the, there's just a lot of little things in in number one that that I really like. I mean, just just the cop named Foster. I think that that even like Officer Foster that kind of goes that kind of goes together. Like they they did really good with these characters. Um, uh, on number one, also um, where Farva does the stupid little like the little scene where he just pours the gas in like the the trash to get the free hot dog. <laughs> Like he's he's wasting money. Yeah. Like I, I don't know I don't know if they he catches that. Like well, he, 
wasted money to get a free hot dog. Is that free? It was, but yeah, dude, that was in that was in early two thousand one. Uh huh. I mean, gas gas hadn't skyrocketed back then. I oh, mean, no. you could, you know, that was that's that was another that's thing true. too. Is what was it? I think it was like a dollar. I think it's around the price it is now, like a dollar sixty or something like that. Was how much it was for gas. And no, dude, I mean back then. No, back then it would even get cheaper, man. Like it, I remember because I was in high school still. So they sometimes um, I'd, pump, I'd fill up like thirty. Excuse me, I fill up like a thirteen dollars, you know, just to get a full tank of gas. I was like, wow, I miss those days. I know, man. Like in honestly, dude, I'm I'm kind of mad that I I quit delivering pizzas right around the time gas plummeted. Uh, but it's a good thing, dude. I I I walk to work every day. Like I literally live across the street from where I'm working at, so that's it's awesome. Fantastic. No, it makes it yeah. makes a big deal. I know that I I feel, I can feel a difference when, I, you know, I spend nine years or a good portion of seven years driving to a restaurant that's 45 minutes away from my home, my home, and I don't know why I did it for that long, but it's just it was different. You know, I I like the area. I think I learned. I'm, I did something to myself by exposing to being exposed to that area for so long. I kind of started thinking a little bit more like the people and kind of started understanding. It was like you know it's a rich area, so I was like, hmm, let me see, let me see how this goes, and um, you know. A lot of, a lot of this, like if, you, if I can quote a super troopers uh, quote in that area and maybe one person would get it, but if that one person got it, like we can just laugh the whole time, you know, it would be the only, <laughs> but it'd be fun. Like, you know, I would look for that one person. Um, I like the, I guess before we jump to number two, I, I don't want to stop talking about one, but like, there's just like the relationship um, that Foster and uh, Mac have. And then the relationship that Foster and Ursula have, you know, he can't, Matt can't know about it, but he, he kind of puts it all together with this, like, so you have to get out of the door. Like, no, he, he always, he takes, he takes some serious, like he never questions them. Like, so you have to break out of the door, you know, in the back seat, Cause, cause like, so the, and that's the, the, for here, the thing is, I noticed that Ursula is the smart one, but they're not in her car, they're in his car. So she's not aware of it. And that's why she says she falls into the trap where she, where of herself, like, wait, our cars, you have to be released. Someone has to let you out. And then he's like, oh, you know, like he, he, then they say, ah, whatever, fuck it, let's do it. And then they'll worry, worry about it. And then the next thing you see, you know, Mac talking about the car, well, because you ripped off the door. I like that they try to be truckers and they can't do it. They try to go undercover and they can't do it because they can't get past the first part. Like these guys are, they're not really good cops. That's what they're showing you. They're not good troopers. They're not good state troopers. They're not good at their job. They're not, they're not, um, they're, they're kind of idiots you know they're i don't know they're just it's it's they got all the characters they they work together they don't clash like they're it's i mean let's see I, this is this i mean it was 1.5 million it's, it's somewhere it's somewhere 1.5 to 3 million to make and it made 23 million at the box office which i think is great yeah like, let's see if, here if, if you, you know you put one and a half to get 23 back that's a, that's a pretty good pretty good jump Ooh, um, wow the second one was a budget of 13.5 million Opening weekend, it got 15 million domestic, but it only it, it, it grossed domestic 30 million. The second interesting, one? yeah, yeah. So, I think yeah. it would have done better than that. I mean, well, this was all GoFundMe, wasn't it? Like for the second one, yeah, so they didn't have to yeah. put any money into it. So, oh, that's <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I want to know the character, I want to know the character is that they, I remember they had. I gotta look into it. Well, when we do a video breakdown, um, I'll I'll look into it. But I know there's a, a, a like you put ten thousand dollars or something, you could get a, a role with with talking. And I wonder who I wonder who the character is. I I wonder if it was that Farva character because that guy is he's like now he's getting good roles. And, um, but with uh, with that budget, you know, it, comedies. That's what they were saying. You know, so try to make a good comedy back in the day so you can make money off it. Like if you do a good comedy, you can make they don't cost they, they don't cost that much money and you can make a lot of a lot of cash and. I think this is an actual comedy. Like they, they just, I don't know how long I want to say they, they probably took forever shit to shoot every scene. Cause they just, they, they probably just want to have fun with it. And once they warmed up and they got the bad scenes out the way, they gave us like the gold scenes. And I mean, they, they just shows you see, you see the characters, you see the personalities, you see the way they, they, they kind of want, they all get along and they, they, even Farva is not, not the one there's like, he's like, he's his, his role. Number two is way more important than his role. Number one. Um, oh yeah. I think like his, he has a way but, like he's he's representing like Americans in number two number one he's just like a loaf <laughs> kind of dumbass, but um, uh, I mean, I yeah I mean this this movie was 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 a big uh, big laugh factor for me you know um, I didn't you know I didn't smoke um, back then so when I would watch the movie like this it's like you're watching straight the movie and then uh, when you watch it you know after you, like we talked it's like it's cool like oh okay. Like uh, you get it. It slows you down. It's like it's like slow humor, but it's like every you can just watch a scene. You can just watch a clip of this movie. It's just it's just funny. 
Um, I, I feel like I didn't I didn't really pay my my due diligence to this movie before, and I did watch it a lot, but I I don't think I, I didn't realize how much I really care about this movie. Um, even just you know even like the the main the the what I wanted to talk about was we from we did um, Ace Ventura you know two last time and we did uh, Shikaka you know White Devil, mm-hmm. and they mm-hmm. even says that when when Thornberry tells a uh, captain he goes I mean Thornberry Thorn, Thorny tells the captain. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm legit, but I can't talk about these white devils. So I was like, oh well, there's two, there's two, there's two uh, side by sides where they bring a white devil. <laughs> right. I was like, oh, they're connected. So that's the. I'm like, I'm finding out this organic way of watching movies is kind of cool. They're, they're all kind of slightly related. Like Jaws is, was finding me now. The white devil's finding me, is stalking me. <laughs> I, they, they, but I, but when I, I talk about that because it's kind of it's funny the the humors. It's not it's, there's not it's not like mean or not derogatory. It's just they're just jokes, man. It's just straight up jokes. Like that that one cracks me up too. Like, like they think I'm Mexican, and he's like, "You're not." <laughs> yeah, you know, like that's. And then, and then they say it in part two. He goes, "Yeah, we got him outside of Home Depot." <laughs> like, it's like, you know. Um, but uh, I, th- I like. I just the farmer takes things too far, and I like at the end of the movie they show you the the kid scene, the school bus scene. Like it's, it's embarrassing, yep. you know, to be a cop and you, to see that, or to be a state trooper and see that's like, wow, this. He's, they, it's it looks too real. It looks like they really, really put their their time into to make it look as real as possible. Um, the conversations with like Brian Cox and um, I mean with uh, the captain and, and uh, Grady like like they have to play the little they have to like scratch each other's back and they have to do it even when Farva turns on them they <clears throat> they get him you know they like he's like you're one of us like that was kind of a that part it shows you that Farva kind of he's he, he's a cop he wants to be that's what he wants to do but he um, he, he goes a little too far on his on his technique. Um, one one piece that I didn't pick up was that um, when Rabbit was he was smoking the evidence when he so he pulls it out of his pocket <laughs> like I didn't pick up the first time or the, the millions times I saw it I saw this and I was like oh he's been he's he, that because I go why does why does Farwa keep calling him like yeah Cheech what school do you go to Cheech like because they showing, that's why he's learning his his street his street street slang you know yeah it's like did you learn that back in your Grateful Dead days yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. he's following the dead <laughs> yeah following the dead yeah I like that and then um. Uh, they have um i mean the leader of cola scene is going on right now leader of cola like the, I don't want a goddamn large farva i want a leader of cola <laughs> yeah i get it for a cop you get spitting it like it's they, they get i mean they give him a lot of chances and hey does it look like spit to you <laughs> nah, yeah fuck it <laughs> <laughs> he does a great job he 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 does a great job as farva um he really even the stupid haircut it's not even filled in right like it's just like dude and I, I I put this down too, man. It looks like his mustache. I mean, granted, what Foster doesn't have a mustache. Yeah. But no, like, no, uh, Farva, oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, he, I don't yeah. Know. At least in this one, I think yeah. in the second one he does. Yeah. But uh, Farva's mustache is just like wimpy compared to the other guys. You know, like <laughs> yeah. it's it's like he tries so hard to fit in, but he he's just like he's missing a few things. Yeah. A few hairs. Well, like it's like I think he, he like he just shows up and he's like, this is good enough. And it's not like that, you know. They, there's some standards there, but I mean, they. Um, he's just he's like he's a loose cannon. Like you really don't you really don't want someone on your, you want you you want him on your team, but you don't want to be around him all the time. You want uh, the Mac loose cannon, not the Farva loose cannon. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, but I mean, I, I feel like like Mac is. I mean, uh, Farva is like he's trying to be a good cop, and it's just it's hard for him. Like, he's yeah. really he's really trying to be. Well, and, you know, I mean. <laughs> Honestly, man, like the Farva character is like one of those cops that was probably thought they were hot shit in high school, you know. It's cool. I could see that. And, I didn't think about that. You know, and it's just like that's that's the kind of cop that you see that's like underqualified, like even even out of the bunch that, you know, they had there. You know, just like somebody who just kind of barely made it and was like, okay, but I'm a cop now. I got yeah. authority. Yeah, I'm a you cop. Know? Uh, you know, and. It's, it's it's human nature, though, man. Especially especially with when people don't get out of that mindset or don't, uh, you know, do other things besides you know stay in their hometown or whatever it is and become a cop. You know, I mean, yeah, you can't yeah you can't necessarily fault them for that. But damn, dude, you gotta you gotta get a little bit more depth to your your person. Uh, it it seems, it seems like like that for sure nowadays to communicate with people. Um, you gotta be a little bit more. No, I just open, but like you, you got yeah, kind of got to update yourself a little bit. Um, yeah. and and you're right, I can see that uh, that guy going to the army for four years, getting out and going straight to a cop, being a cop, and 
just using that life experience is enough, you know, mm-hmm. maybe, they, you know, just enough. But I mean, he's, he is kind of just has like that small town um, vibe to him. He really does. Yeah. And the way they handle business, it, it does. I do like that. This is kind of like a small town in Vermont, you know, it's like a up and it's a, um, also like a border town and it's the North border, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that's cool that they, 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 they really focus on that, uh, that part on the second one, like a lot. <laughs> and, and the Canada, eh? <laughs> and the best one they pull them over is like they're getting some uh what does he say something in gravy fries and gravy it's called poutine like <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're, oh god here we give him a canadian handshake what is that is a that's all it has to do with hockey pucks and gravy it sounds delicious <laughs> um oh man I so got- do you, you want to jump into super troopers too man because yeah, like dude, i said i got so crackling bacon i mean is there ever been a better band name than Cracklin Bacon? I was trying to I was trying to think about that. I was like, I think that is one of the best damn band names. <laughs> and that that whole sequence too, man. Like I, I went okay, so you, you asked earlier, like, if it could be a standalone movie, if you could just like go in and watch this. I, I, I did go see it in theaters. Uh it, I went and saw it with two people that I was working with at the time. Um the guy had seen Super Troopers, uh, you know, probably a handful of times. Uh, probably not near as many as I had. Uh, but, man, I was pumped for this movie. Like, I was ready to go see it. And then uh, the girl, man, she she had no idea. She was actually uh, – she wasn't from America. She grew up in Japan, I think. Mm-hmm. So she had, like, you know, no – None of the references, nope. none of the cultural references. None of them. Oh, but like even so, so, you saw number two, so that means that there's a lot of Canadian references too. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, but even then, dude, I don't know whether she was just laughing at us, laughing at this movie, but man, she was cracking up too. Oh, so I good. feel like, I feel like that, you know, it could have been, uh, it, it, you could go into this movie without seeing the first one. If, if, you, if you showed this movie, now, would I recommend it? No. I think you will enjoy it more if you have the one than the two, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you, you get the glittering and you get the enhance, you get the, the enhance. Oh, the enhance. And en- why is he, why does he do that? Enhance. En- enhance. And, and, but enhance. also, and also in the computer in the first one, why does he do that? Like enhance, enhance, just print the goddamn thing. <laughs> He's trying to be like Foster in the second one, man. He's trying to be the tech guy. Oh, okay, he's trying yeah. to, he, 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 you know, or and he's probably just trying to piss the captain <laughs> off too, because yeah. uh, he's the way he's looking at it is like enhance, you know, and just like he has that goofy ass grin on. Do you think uh, that that Thorny and and the captain have like a father son kind of bond? Yeah. Oh I yeah, think, for I picked sure. Up on that. I picked up on that. And I I think that uh, Thorny and Mac have probably swung a little bit too. You know? Oh I yeah, it, yeah. I can I, see that. that. Would, it would, it would make I can sense. see that. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, because 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 um, Mac likes crazy stuff and Thor is like, yeah, whatever. Who wants a mustache know? ride? Oh, I do. I do too. I do too. I do, I do too. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. But uh, yeah, dude. So, kind of getting back to that first sequence. I mean, the way they set it up, I was like, okay, this is this is gonna be a crazy ride. You know, like they're gonna be. They're going to be musicians and they're going to be on the road. I wonder how it's going to get back to like yeah. them being cops, you know, and just like first initial thought. And I'm pretty sure whenever I went to go see this, I was just stoned out of my mind too. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, dude, it was a, it was a great first sequence. Uh, you know, it got you, it got you into the movie. It like shocks you a little bit. You're like, you just got shot. Yeah. You know, like, Oh no, Thorny's dead. Like, what happened? And then, like you said, you have the cameos with uh, William Scott or Sean William Scott, excuse me, and uh, Damon Wayne's Jr. You know, which Damon Wayne's Jr. Uh, he had just come off that movie, Let's Be Cops, oh, yeah, with yeah. Uh, with is it Jake Johnson or something like yeah, that? Yeah, something like I that. I think yeah. that's who it is. Um, you know, so he was kind of fresh off of that, and then Sean William Scott was like, "What, what was it that uh, that uh, that Mac asked Rabbit?" He was like. Who who was it this time? He was like, oh, Stifler and Damon Wayans Jr. Like he didn't even say Sean Williams. He said Stifler, man. <laughs> like I love that. Dude. I didn't catch that. They yeah. He says that. Yeah, he's like, it, yeah, it was Stifler and Damon Wayans Jr. Who, he's like, who pulled you over this time? Oh, and no, I, was, I didn't catch. Oh, in the dream. Yeah, yeah, in the oh, dream. Oh, I never caught that. I didn't catch that because because um, who wakes him up? Uh, Mac wakes him up, doesn't he? Oh no, it's yeah. A, 
Yeah, no, it's Parva. Oh, it's Parva, but but but, uh, but who's who, who tells him then? I didn't catch that part. It was uh, it was Mac. Mac, okay. Was, uh, yeah, because isn't that a funny funny group to be working together too? Like you have Mac, Farva, and uh, oh, Rabbit. Uh, they're working at like construction site, dude. They, 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 but and it's also like Farva needs that authority figure. He need he's like he's the supervisor. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you know Thorny's out there chopping down wood. <laughs> you know I could totally see that. You know about <laughs> man. Uh, what the hell's Foster been doing? He's well, probably no, that, just living off Ursula. That's what that's Ursula. what he's been doing. Yeah, that, that's what it showed you. He's he's like he's just a like a kept guy. Like she just takes right. care of him. <laughs> like she right in the sidecar. My sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> he's, he's like a fishing lure, like a dad. Like he's just lazy. He's just like a guy. <laughs> he's, he's, he's going right. fishing, man. Yeah, he's like a side <laughs> the sidecar like that. She's like, yeah, this is my bitch right here. I got him. <laughs> like he's got my sidecar. Yeah. And then um, she's chief of police, which is you know. Yeah, she and she'll her what she did. She was able to accomplish, yeah. and that's what I like about that. Like. It gives it. It gives the the. It gives like every character has a purpose in this movie, and it gives it. It gives them life. Um, and the second one, um, with the um, the Clifton Collins Jr. character too, he's like all cool driving the bus, and he's a great actor. And that, and then um, he's like playing the cool, the cool laid back like driver, and then you have um, the Sean William Scott character who does he plays like this weird cop, like a like a like a like a, like a, a square. He does a good job at it. Because even when they're going to kiss, he's like, or when they're dancing, he's dancing all stiff. And then they're, even when they're going to kiss, he's like, uh, he's going to do it. They're like, they're like, nah, okay, good. Like, kiss him, kiss him. Like, that was funny. Like, did they, did they and, and then he, Mac even asked him, was like, did they kiss? Like, this close. Like, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man. This yeah. has been a recurring dream for, for, for old Rabbit, Rabbit for a while. Uh, um, I mean, the cool thing is also keep him as a rookie. Um, Rabbit, he's still a rookie. Like, they, he's like, yeah. well, not, I th- and I like that they brought that up. Um, who's the yeah? Who uh, the the when when uh, Mac the is talking? Canadians. <laughs> who's the weakest? Who the least? The least? Uh, rank- oh, this is, yeah. you have to shave his balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and even that, even that, that he ends up having to still have his balls sh- shaved. But because he didn't shave his balls right then and there, the oh, the the bad curse happened. So I thought that was funny. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. the, also, when Brian Cox or the captain goes, he, he, uh, Mac is trying to tell him about text messaging. He's like, oh, you mean mail text? Like. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's oh, the, uh, he does a good job, man. Brian Cox really he sells it, man. I like love him in this yeah. movie. He's a great. He's Farva's, a, Farva's cock joke is like cock. You got cock, some hot cock, cock right here. It was just you like, know, every, like, everybody does that. Like everybody. That, okay, maybe not everybody. No, no, we all do, no, we all do, do that. We all do that. I mean, we all do that. that's that's just. But I mean, and that just kind of shows you, like, okay, we all got a little bit of Farva in us. Well, no, but you, 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 wait, you're waiting for that. As soon as you see them, you're like, when, when is, he says it right away. That's the first thing he says. So it's like you expect Farvis to say that. You really do. Yeah. Um, he's a supervisor, but he's still trying to fit in. Yeah, know? he's still like, trying to Well, no, he's just, he's just boxes. You don't care. He's just going to say that, what he's going to say. That too. I, think, I mean, that's what I think. That's what I'm getting from him. Um, I do. I have a lot about the, the, the Mounties, man, the Canadian translation. Oh, that is so funny. The metric system thing they keep bringing up the math. Like, uh, <laughs> he's 148. He's 147 inches, a meters tall. Like, deal, with it. deal with it. Yeah, like everybody, everybody. Dude, why'd you get like the rest of the the, the world? Like, yeah, dude. I love Thorny's reaction. Is like, I don't know if he's calling me fat or like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. They, they, dude, uh, they, they, Will Sasso. I love Will Sasso in this movie, man. Like, um, I've always been a Will Sasso fan. I even follow him on he, Instagram. He is Canadian. By yeah, the way. he's good. Yeah, so like the way the way he does like the Canadian accents, the the faces. Uh, he's the big guy. Um, I love the scene where they where they they don't know who's call, who calls during hockey. We might as well deliver pizza in overtime. Like th- that whole scene. And and by the way, um, I wanted to throw this in there that I just got back from my hometown, which is down on the border. And this that that's movie is about the a border, but the northern part. And I I I relate to it very well. Like they captured it, like how it feels to be kind of in the middle. And I was like very, I, I think I, I, I did go in with two when I watched it the way you did at the, at the I mean, it was on 420. I went, I was like, all right, cool. We're going to do this. And yeah. I remember laughing my ass off and I don't remember, I don't remember it leaving me a, a, a feeling of like, okay. And I, I heard some people before had bashed it. So I kind of went a little bit biased, but I was like, nah, it'll be good. It was still good, but I didn't realize until I focused on it, that it is really, really, really good. It's exceptionally well. Um, a lot. Like you said, man, I mean, we're pretty much looking at the same movie. Mm-hmm. We're, they did the same movie twice. It has the same same kind of deal. You know, but it's almost like they threw in some different jokes. Like you were saying with the Mounties, like the Danny DeVito thing. You were like, it's like, 
this, you're talking about the guy from Taxi. You know, it's like, it's the same guy. That can't be the same guy. They're from two different areas. Like, and then, and then the other guy gets it on. And he's like, oh, you know who my favorite Batman villain is? <laughs> Is the big one. He's like, that's Same fucking thing. Danny DeVito, man. And he just like sleeps. No, no. So I think Will Cecil says that, and the other guys, uh, the other guy says it from uh, Danny DeVito is um, he, he says another no because Will Cecil goes says the, the 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 penguin, and then he gets up and leaves, and then that guy stays in there with him, and he said, oh, what movie does he say? I, I I don't think I wrote it down, but he whatever whatever. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to correct you, but the the no 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 the the part the part where he says it, and then um, that I feel like I'm that guy when I'm sometimes in my hometown. I'm trying to explain. And, uh, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, these guys are fucking they're doing it to me on purpose, and I'm falling for it. I can't stop. I can't help myself. I just did it this weekend. I just did it with my dad and my uncle, and I'm like, why am I doing this? But like, I'm the monkey in the middle, and I'm like, I, I don't. Why am I here? I know I shouldn't be here, but I'm going through the motions. And that that scene, that's funny. Man. He's, that, that cracks me up because he's there. He's like, I I get he, he that guy sells the scene. I don't even, I don't know that actor very well, but he sells it so so well, so well how he sells it where where he he really feel like he's getting pissed off. Like he's really upset. He's like, you're like, come on, it's the same fucking guy. Like I, I, I get, I don't mean to get like that, but it's like, like, well, then you find out, I do know he, he don't know that I know that, you know, that Danny DeVito. And then the other guy jumps in on it. And by the way, that other guy, the guy from uh, the Chuck and Dell versus evil, or yeah. Think, yeah, like he, he's that he does a great, I had to go back when I saw the movie, I did have to go and Google he's, it. He's Canadian as well. Yeah. So they actually have Canadian um, actors. Yeah, uh, Hayes MacArthur is the other guy who you're talking about. Uh, he yeah, is right. not Canadian. Uh, he does a good job. He's, for, he's, he's from Illinois, though. I like, so, I like, I like the, close. the back. I mean, but he capture it. I mean, you have two Canadians, and that guy's not Canadian, and he blends in with them. But also, mm-hmm. too, since, you know, the, like the, the handshake, the back handshake, they do like that a lot. You know, they say something like, yo, oh, we're right now, like that. Like, that's kind of like a little cocky thing. Um, uh, what, do you, what was I gonna say? With the with that scene, with those was a mounties like they, I don't know. It's kind of like they're kind of like pricks, you know. Kind of like they treat everybody like uh, where when they're kind of like talk shit to the Americans. Um, the town meeting, it's everything's like this planned to like it's ba- planned to like beat them up. Everything <laughs> like they're trying to be, they are actually trying to be by the book. And then there's a point where they said because they, they they do say the three topics. They're like you know, they 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 threw the bear. They you know they've uh, put a beat them up. They're throwing pucks at them. I've I've been beat up by prostitutes, male and female. You know time to fight back and then they do fight back and you and you and you they build it up for you and you get you get to that sense like oh crap they're 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 kicking ass like they're not messing around and uh, but they they do try to do the right thing and it doesn't work out for them so they had to go and do it this 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 route and, they, and the way they know and they, they mess them up fortunately it works for them um but the 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 performance of um what the other guys i'm sorry the the not the, not the MacArthur guy but the guy from the chuck and dale he did such a uh, it's Tyler Labine. Labine, okay, that he did a such a great performance. I had to go. I go. I think it's that guy because he lost weight for this role, yeah. or just you know he lost weight. So, um, so when I saw, I was like, oh man, he does a really good job because his voice is very monotone. It never changes. It stays like there, and it's like the northern. But when you go to the border, it's kind of like that, but it's a little lower. They do more of a low, and then I guess because we're in the south. But when you go towards the the north, it's a nasally, or I guess, and it sounds like this. And I'm like, wow, they, 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 we have that South version of that. I, I know the South version of that. And this movie was just really like, like, like pulling my strings. I was like, this is, this is so cool because there is a difference. And I love their versions of Canadians. Like I have, God, they're like, they're, they're super rude. You know, they have them. And he, he goes, yeah, what are you what, probably going to tell us to stop listening to Rush and our bare naked ladies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you are telling us what to listen to. And then, <clears throat> And then what does that one guy say? He's like, this one's probably going to start making us eat tortillas. <laughs> the, you know? the close up on authority. <laughs> He's going to make us eat tortillas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a, that's that's that. Like they, they do that. The the Canadians like they're just like rude and yelling. Yeah, that's that's funny, man. That reminds me that my my uh, my hometown has the town hall meetings online on Facebook. And I'll I'll check it, chime in on them. It's exactly like that. <laughs> just yelling at the at the city people. Well, yeah, man, and so what I what I thought was pretty funny is like whenever whenever the guys first go over into Canada, you have that border guard right there who's just like so Canadian, right? Like just like your 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 stereotypical Canadian, like oh, I was uh, I was neck deep in walleye last week, you know, uh, tits up to my and, tits and walleye. Yeah, like, but, yeah, but. I- up into my tits and walleye. I don't know what is walleye. <laughs> it's a fish. It's a, a yeah, it's a fish. Yeah, okay. and uh, but 
yeah, dude. Like, I just thought it was so funny because, like, you then they just like go on about Canada, dude, dude, and they just like bash and bash and bash. And that, I mean, I watch South Park all the time. I'm not, I'm yeah. not, uh, you know, any. I've seen Canada jokes, like I've yeah. seen Canadian jokes. Uh, they're all about. It. But then you get up to Canada, man, and they just throw it right back at them. You know, they have the American jokes, and I love it, dude. It's like, it's like, uh, yeah, like what you were saying about the metro is like, uh, yeah, just uh, subtract by thirty-two, divide by this, and grab, get, you know, get on the metric system, like ever, like no. the rest of the fucking world, you know. Like, like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, nah, and I, but then, but then at me, like, inside my my mind, I'm like, well, I'm American, so I'm proud of that. So no, I'm not going to change that. Like, I, like you, you, know, you changing me. Um, but it, it's so I do like when he uh, he says it like did you catch that 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 guy in the beginning the the checkpoint he's like sets the bar for the he's he they did I, like they did a perfect like segue with him he's like setting you he's letting you know that this is how it's gonna be and and what do you say yeah. what does he say he goes I caught a seven uh, seven metri- metrics he's like was that big oh yeah I mean, from snout to toe if it's nine decimeters like he's like what you he's like, he's, like, he's like very he like the, he doesn't I don't know he's, he's like a funny character man. He's just yeah, like, yeah, he's a, well, what was you going to say? Sorry. No, no, he's just, he's just, he's just the way he is kind of cocky, but kind of just, and I, I feel like they're making him like that because he's around American. So he's thinking like they're lesser than him, but you know, it's, um, that's just like, that's what they even try to say that we're like, you know, we're all kind of American, North American and, you know, and, and they try to be mm-hmm. cool about it and they, it doesn't work. Oh, you know, and, <laughs> and he goes, yeah, you're going to talk bad about us. We're going to get some uh, Canadian tomatoes. <laughs> the, the hockey pucks. Hockey pucks. <laughs> like, like everything always goes back to, to like the, some kind of hockey form. Oh, even like when oh. they do the drugs, it's as a highway patrol, is a way high patrol. Like, yeah, like, yeah that that's kind of cool. <laughs> that, that they, that oh they, man, yeah, to- and then the the flow of Scotia. Oh, that's just hilarious. <laughs> he gets hooked. Oh, but it. yeah. Oh, but going back to that acid acid trip scene, dude. That was that was fantastic. And actually, like I said, the the girl that I that I went to go see the movie with, man, she always did that where she would like cover her mouth whenever she would laugh. And so I saw that, and I turned to her and just started busting out laughing, man. Like that was, oh, dude, it was I feel, great. when I when I saw that movie, this one uh, at the movie theaters, I did I did laugh a lot. The second one, I did, um, I did find every character. I just didn't realize I was watching the same movie. When you watch them back to back, you're like, oh, you can confirm real easy. Yeah. Um, I, I like that there is growth in the characters. I like that they, they do they do different things now. Um, I do like it. I do like, like I said, Brian Cox's character, the captain is either drunk or sober in this movie, mm-hmm. uh, both of them. So you, you, see their, you see their tendencies. You see the way they go back into what they, they are. Even in the first one, you know, Denim Dan, you know, Canadian tuxedo. There's a Canadian joke in there. <laughs> what are you doing? Wearing a Canadian yeah. tux- It's all Levi. What are you wearing a Canadian yeah. tuxedo? <laughs> um there uh the 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 what else do i got i got a lot dude i got a lot of stuff for the second one i i, I do oh I so like barbo oh no i was no, just no, no, gonna go. say the well um, loser cuts his toe off bet with farva dude like just just like the bets man he's like all right we'll do this we'll do that all right no loser cuts off their toe like you just get more of farva but it's it's not as much of a dick farva it's just a stupid farva yeah, you know, um, you know, swallowing the M and M's holes like, <laughs> what is that? What? Yeah, and then and then they give him the pill. He's like, you chew the pills, but you swallow M and M's whole. Even the captain's just like, what does he say? I'm a compli- you. I'm a complicated yeah, person. I'm a complicated person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, so he's doing that. <laughs> they catch up to it, you know. Um, I I think with two, yeah, that that part. Um, what was I gonna say? When they do the drugs. And you start mm-hmm. finding out that he's on steroids, and then um, he's on like some like the downer, and then the guy's on acid, and the, the, the float that uh, he gets he gets hooked addicted to that. I mean, he even gets it at yeah. the end of the, of, the, of the movie, and he's getting all those side effects, and he still doesn't mm-hmm. stop it. He says it's like the, the orgasms are explosive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, even even when they pull out that, even the second one, they pull out the the, the mustache regulator. That's funny, man. Mm. Yeah, that, 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 Oh yeah, dude. So kind of a, a callback to uh, one of I'm just gonna say Jay because I don't want to butcher his last name. Yeah, anymore. no, I don't, I don't, I don't believe you. So Jay actually directed the Dukes of Hazard movie. Yes. Um, and so they had that bet, you know, like if they broke any moonshot and they got hit with a telephone book, and that's what they do to Farva in this. Uh, whenever he goes, he's he takes his was it the muscle muscle relaxers and they're just like. 
Oh, so that's what that's part of uh, Dukes of Hazard. You threw it, threw it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, that's my guess. Either that, or they used to do that to each other, and that made it into Dukes of Hazard, <laughs> and then it also made it into this. It's but that is, that is a uh, a little bit of a connection there. And Sean William Scott was in that too. So yeah, it's true. He was he was he, one of these with Johnny Knoxville and Jessica Simpson, yeah. and mm-hmm. when everybody used to love her, and then they turned on her. <laughs> the pancake. Yeah. The pancake jokes are funny too, man. All the way the Canadians do like they're oh, uh, Rob. Lowe, okay, we're gonna get oatmeal and and oh, and raisins. No pancakes. And then the pancakes. you know, when they a hey, ghee, it's like that's even like a cool name. ghee. Rob Lowe's yeah. hey, ghee. Hey, ghee, you're a hero, a hockey player who owned a whorehouse. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was your hero. But even at the end of the movie, man, they, what's up? What were you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say whenever he's uh, whenever they're in the brothel and he's like, sorry. Oh, you yeah. know, and he's making fun of the way they say, it, you know, because like they, they flip just, it on you. It's like, no, we yeah, say, it, we say, it, we say it right. No, you say it right. No, we say it right. And, it's the, just, and then every well, it's it's almost like okay, yeah, you're in America, of course you're gonna make fun of Canadians, and then whenever you're in Canada, oh, of course they're gonna make fun of Americans. And you know, this was coming right off the heels of uh, Trump getting elected too. So he's like, you come up here with that, make America great. Yeah, great. He said he threw it you in know? there. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I thought it was, I thought it was kind of cool. I. I Honestly, like I just, I think, I think it's funny, you know, that you can. It, it wasn't a big part of it. It was just like a little, little deal in there, but loved it. No, I mean, I mean he's being Better honest. Man. He's pretty, pretty honest when he says that because he's like, you, you say you, you, you guys want to come and change, like kind of change it, and that's what he's right. He's, he's right about that. Um, mm-hmm. You're trying to take our. It's, it is like a territorial thing. Um, I actually enjoyed the ending too because there's a very sentimental part there where, you know, uh, Thorn, Thorny saves uh, Will Sassel's character. And then uh, he says he even saved my life, and they're like, "Have a." It's, that's a that's a beautiful thing about they they actually capture it. Like, we're we're all like we all can get along when we need each other, and then all of a sudden they as soon as it turns in that we don't, like they don't want us there anymore. You know, like oh, what the hell with you guys. Like well, I just saved your life. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what have you done for me lately? It's like you just say it just saved your life. You know, it's like it's and they turn on you. And I, that's how it really is. I feel like most of the time people they just well, well I have the upper hand now. I'm gonna screw you over. And they don't they don't understand or I don't know it's just a, it's a good it's a good little ending I think I think just that the I I didn't think I was gonna like Super Troopers as much as I really did and when I really sit down and give the the movie its respect like you're supposed to and just shut up and listen and see what they got to offer and help you scratch some parts of your brain that needs to be scratched or you know some maybe heal your soul maybe touch your heart anything you know something like that and this movie these movies do that they're just they're just they're not stoner movies but you can get high and watch them they're fun but they're just yeah. they're they're really they're really complicated movies but they're just very simple and i think i'm learning as a filmmaker simple is good if anything that you do don't overdo it don't don't you don't like i, I think about cooking with cooking you need, you need a few ingredients uh cocktails I, I i do not put more than five ingredients in a cocktail it's gonna taste gross so it's like you you start learning what what, what to do when, when you're prepping and then filmmaking is the same way you got if there's a there's a like a recipe and ingredients to do and um I'm, i like that i'm seeing it with these movies um i like the way they guys these guys work i would like my whole thing is like we're i'm trying to get us the the, the broken lizard style so you know, get the crew going uh, it's just meeting each other and just talking about and and I didn't realize just talking about movies that I enjoy are are is really building up inside of me because there's a reason why I enjoy them, um and uh, like I mean like I'm saying even Farbo find like even the scene right here the first one Farbo finds them in the car with the with his Trans Am like he knows how to do the job he just might do it he might know it too well or maybe he just maybe he has a little like a little mental health problems or something but he's he's still a cop you know he's the the only one there that's actually a cop. And then that's when they even make fun of Foster, like, oh yeah, I, when did you actually become a cop? You know, he's he's because he, he's like did Ursula tell, already did everything for him, so he's just kind of going through the motions. And the you know the second one, it's um, it's more than these guys are just don't don't mess with them and see what's gonna happen. And then or, like, you keep messing messing with them, they're gonna get you. Even the bear scene, it was kind of crazy with Farva wearing a sh- shirt, a bloody shirt that said "Eat me." And then you know they see the bear is massive. And uh, they even have like a good point with Farber. They let him say his jokes, and they're like, "All right, it's enough." You know, there's a grizzly. It's a you know, they, 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 about, they're, they're let him. They're like, "All right, shoot him." Who? Uh, Farva? He's like, "Hmm, that's a good." Idea. Matt goes, "Hmm, that's a good idea." Um, you, you, you just, I barely made it. I barely, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I have. I, I mean, the Fred Savage thing is fun. I love. I'm happy that they showed it. You get hit by a, you know by the by the bus. I love that they also showed all the bloopers at the end of part two. When you start when you start seeing like uh, your imperfections, it makes it makes it makes it feel for me like. Like, all right, I know that they mess up too, so just keep going. And then um, the scene with, um, well, I mean, I like the ending. I, I like the way they ended too, uh, where they show the the names of the characters with the part of the movie they're in. And uh, I like how they ended it on the first one. I, I don't I don't remember. I mean, they did something similar to the second one. Um, oh, just real quick on the first one, like Farber actually, like they did this twice. They did a penis 
they showed penis in both the movies. Yeah. And, yeah. and it was for all nudity. Yeah, I, it's kind of like um, uh, I I guess it it it's just it's just one of the I don't know how do you feel about that? Like I didn't need to see far, but I don't know why he went that all that far. Why he went I mean, it was far. honestly, I mean, you get a group of guys like that in one of the movies. You know, they were probably it was probably a dare. I mean, it was probably the cut off your toe kind of thing is like uh, i bet you won't show your dick on camera yeah i you can know. see the second guys. one was obvious I, I really hope it was a prosthetic because he yeah. was he was he was handbagging with, he was <laughs> feedbagging his dick you know. yeah he was it says a workout like i hope yeah i hope that's not but uh, yeah but every time he hits it the guy goes up so i'm like i hope that's not really your dick overall those not really punching your dick man. like <laughs> but, but it's it, it's it's um like I, yeah like they they really i was like they show that so that's another that really pushes them like they, they show these guys are pushing the boundaries like they'll they'll go they'll show entertaining but look at this like i not but I, to be honest with you there's a lot of crazy things they could have put that you know but the, the guy penis for a split second all right i'm just it just when you see it it just it does kind of go huh like it does he like okay, okay uh I'm like all right well that's what it did okay they they put that in there it was uh it was kind of like forgetting Sarah Marshall yeah, too Jason whenever Siegel. he just <laughs> why did I I didn't yeah and it's like I I uh I spoke to I mean I saw an interview with Jason Siegel and uh, he said yeah um yeah I'm just gonna go with it and I said that's my turn to just show it off and I was like what <laughs> he actually prepared for that like he was like he was like yeah I was like nah I don't I can't <laughs> I don't want to watch that movie for that scene sometimes and I'm a huge Jason Siegel fan but. I was like, for the, just because of that scene, I'm like, uh, I don't know why they throw it in there. But uh, I guess the Farva thing, too, because it's just kind of like, it's not, a, I don't know, I don't want to talk about his penis, but it's just kind of like, <laughs> I, I, like if I show this to like my brother or something, my younger brother, I'd be like, I wouldn't warm him about it. I was like, yeah, it's whatever. Like, it's, it, that's it. The, the, the other one seems a little bit more X rated, where the guy, where Rob was actually like playing with it. Yeah. So it There's only little... one, one movie where you have to warn people about uh, a swinging dick, and that's Watchmen, because that thing. Oh, God. Is, is I thought you were gonna you know. say Boogie Nights. <laughs> it's like Mark Wahlberg does that shit. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, like that one guy was like, well, I don't want to. Why the fuck? Uh, no, yeah, you're right. Uh, I I in Watchmen, I think that's the only part of, I didn't watch, man. <laughs> like I was like, it's like yeah, you're right. You just it's just it's like digitalized. So somebody had to draw that shit. Like what? Yeah. Yeah, just put underwear on. Come on, damn it. Um, just thank God he did whenever he was huge. You know, yeah, yeah. Oh, in Vietnam, would... oh man, he could have knocked some people out with that thing. But anyway. <laughs> No, for the, yeah, the, the PP talk. No, but uh, for <laughs> for for what they um what what these movies are rated, and what they're what they're like uh, what people see in them. Like I I think what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm just looking at the IMDb right now. I'm not moving to the Rotten Tomatoes yet. Yeah. I think for I mean we could talk about part two. I could. I there's like a lot of stuff in here that I, I love. Um, the uh, I mean even the 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 uh, Farva and Mac relationship too. You know. It shows that it shows them like the way they they interact. Um, oh, like in the first one where he goes, "Hey, hey, Mac, you want to go toe to toe?" And he has the two beers in his hand at that at that uh, like mixer. Then he just punches them right the right in the right in the groin, right in the nuts. He goes, "Oh, I didn't specify. <laughs> oh, I didn't specify." Like, he's, yeah, like, he's, good like, job. he's having a good time. Like he's that kind of guy. Yeah. And then you get the Farva and the Canadian one. He's kind of like more like kind of gross, but he's still kind of like Farva. Um, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I didn't specify like those little scenes like that cracked me up. I love a lot of those stuff. Um, uh, what do you call it? Oh yeah, and then I love that they both have a love story. So Rabbit falls in love in this one. Mm -hmm. So they still kind of it's the same. It is kind of like the same exact movie. It's just a different uh, like skin cover or something. But it but, it, but they do it well. They, they it's like just a modernized version. I feel they just yeah. kind of modernized. It's like it's with the times a little bit more. And it was like you had two twists in this one. Like oh no, she's working with Guy, and then. Oh wait, no, she's actually, you know, a cop. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's why you would really be attracted to her because she's a cop. Her, her, Obviously, she she is pretty attractive and she has that French accent, la vagine. Oh, she said that. I was like, that's nice. You know, I like what she says. Uh, what well, we have? You you had me put the. Uh, you made me have sex with uncircumcised penis. <laughs> like, smell like, like hot dog. Go, hot why dog is she? Water. Why did she have to say that too? Like that's so dumb. Like they 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 really pick on that Canadian part. Um, her, her name is Emmanuel em or uh, she, it's hard. It's hard. Uh, I, let me look it up real quick. Ooh, it's yeah, hard. I'm it, not it's, it's, hard. it's hard. Um, if you're not, let's see. Because I, I think it's I haven't I haven't heard anybody say it, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, hmm, want to mess it up. I I'm I'm already known for this. Or she? Yeah, I didn't see her. Emmanuel. Yeah. Is that Emmanuel. It, and then it's it's Sharik. Yeah. That's my guess. Sharik. Uh, Sharik. Sharik. Sharik, yeah, I got that. 
Okay. Yeah, she does. Genevieve. Yeah, Jenny. <laughs> she does a great job. She's a, she's she, she 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 makes you fall in love with her. Like she does a really good job. She was in a on Entourage, and um, she had a good job then as a girlfriend. Um, but I mean, for this for this movie, she does she's she's every 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 line she's in. Every, I mean, every every scene she's in, she's she's kind of like breathtaking, cute, and like uh, I see why they why 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 she does like a perfect like uh like she's like I've been on this case for three years. You like she's like serious, you know? <laughs> she's that she's not like the person you you think she is. And she's like when you find out, she's like oh she's a ball buster. She's like a really hard hard um hard ass. Um, I like the Linda Carter character. She has more. I feel she has more scenes in this one. But I, I like other, uh, I like that when she shows up, she has like they do like um like I always do like a Wonder Woman uh, um like quote in there. I know I forgot what, what the one they used in the first one, but they kind of show her like that she's Wonder Woman and she's powerful. She's the strongest one in the in the whole um like the I guess office about that. Like offices, yeah, I mean, she's like, the she's the governor. No, you know what I really liked in the first one is well not really liked, but I thought it was kind of funny with her scene is whenever she was like, so why are we here? Oh, it's a drug bus. It's like cocaine. It's like yeah. marijuana. It's like then why are we here? Yeah. You know, like she she yeah, thought, she's just doing. She's like they have to just inform her. And she just shows up, takes pictures. Like she does a real politician. She's a good one. Um, oh, the fake French man, the fake French. Uh, he's, they're just saying like uh, cordon bleu and the uh, no. <laughs> ratatouille. No. A penis yeah. in the asshole. You know, like. <laughs> Happiness. Well, you know, and, and yeah, happiness in the household. But you know, and they, it, like you said, I mean, these two movies are, I mean, they're essentially the same, man. I mean, they go and they discredit the cops in the first one, mm -hmm. you know, and they come and discredit the mountains, Mounties in this one. You have a woman who is pretty much pulling the strings in the background that you yeah. don't really know. I mean, you, you, throughout the movie, you're like, all right, Rob Lowe, obviously not the good guy you know yeah. he's being nice but he's just being a dick about everything in a mm -hmm. in a nice way and it's because it's they're um, losing their lifestyle and they're, then that's what they don't want yeah and um, uh oh sorry go for no, it no, you go you oh no no i was i was gonna say with, with you with you knowing that about the storyline do you think you could write like super troopers 3 to be able to kind of do it the same way oh i don't well, know like, if you could what, do it a third what, time what, what 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 would you what would it, what does it take to make a good Pretty cool. If, like, if if I was gonna do if I was gonna do a Super Troopers three, it would be a prequel. Be a prequel. I, I think they I think they should they would go back to the seventies. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily be. Oh wow, that would you be. Know, cool. You know what I'm saying? That would like because cool. you would have Brian Cox in there, but a younger Brian Cox. You know, it would be like I, I would getting actually, these traditions started. I think I, even even at their at their age now, I think I would go and make make the make it in the but but put make them from the seventies. What what kind of they like put them in the, how they are they are now, but in the time frame the seventies. What would like what would the super troopers do with you know what like would they, uh, what would they do in the seventies? How how would they? But like you know or I don't know because you get the, the 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 or maybe even the eighties. I mean I don't know. I really don't I, know. I, what I, would like see, I would like to see these actors though. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to see like uh, someone else play them. No, no, they would be like playing their fathers or like oh, somebody. That, oh, okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? That'd be or cool. Like yeah, somebody yeah. that Brian Cox was like, "All right, Mac." Like, yeah, I get you. I get I've you. seen get you it. before, kind of thing. You know? Yeah. Like, I mean, they, um, they, they uh, I think for third one, like, yeah, I think it'd be too hard. I don't know if they they're ever gonna do it. I would love to see what else these guys are working on. Um, yeah. Their movies are amazing. They they really do like. Even when I started thinking about this, now I started thinking about Club Dread, and I started I like it way more. I remember I liked it when I first saw it. I didn't get the ha ha that I wanted, but then I realized mm -hmm. I saw it again, and I was like, I like this movie. It's it's kind of, it's kind of more. It is a horror movie. It's it's not a it's not a, a, a slapstick comedy. It's a horror movie, but it has a lot yeah. of comedy and it's dark comedy. But it's it's funny where I I enjoyed it um, like the third or fourth time I saw it, and I mean I've always enjoyed Super Troopers one, and then part two is like, like I said, the second time I saw it, and I like really was like I really love it. It does, it does hit home for me. It does strike a a, um, a chord, but I enjoy like I just enjoy going going along the journey with these guys. Do I just I want to see what else they got to do? Because Fear Fest by far, it, I I don't know if the kid in me was who saw Beer Fest will always love that movie a little bit more than Super Troopers. But now the adult is like, dude, I I love Super Troopers. Like, I I put it up there with Beer Fest, and I don't I don't even think I'd have Beer Fest in my top ten. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like now just kind of seeing everything and it's just like the way they make it. They made it and. Like even they even show some time passing where they show like the right now where they're the cops and um 
they, they show up and Farva Dye has a decent haircut, you know? And then mm -hmm. they, they make you see Mac with the fake mustache, but you think he has one. And you see how they all kind of like, like uh, Mac grew his hair out a little bit. You start to see a little bit difference in the, in the characters. Um, but for the most part, they are who they are. And, and I like seeing that, like that they did that in that movie, that they're able to show you them still being who they are, even though they look a little different. Um, the, 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 I mean, this, this is the way they ended it. The way they ended it, they ended partying. Like they, they ended up yeah. like, like the super trooper, I mean, the, the broken lizard guys are just going to party their asses off. Like they just want to like, you know, make a good movie. And I, I like that they know how to write. They make good stuff. It's not, it, it, you can, you could really just, um, I don't know. You really like, I don't want to say relate. If you, I don't know if this is a relatable movie, but it does, it does bring a lot of humor, a lot of funny, like what ifs, you know? And uh, I like the fact that all the characters are always in the scene. They're always in this. They're always, they, they know how to, play the scene together they know how to do things like you know um i guess i guess i can see why why farva doesn't like rabbit too much he's the rookie and he gets more respect than him and farva's been there longer you know you, you can you can see a lot of that but they i mean farva's just that guy man you, you're gonna be like that we're gonna crap on you and that's just how it is um and you see it in you see it in the second one with the with that girl like oh my my uh my employee my my coworker. he's a he's a you know he's an idiot and um i could really i could really i don't know i could really i feel I feel that with the second one, um, they, they, they just, they gave us everything else and amplified it and modified it a little bit better. Um, I don't, I, I don't feel like they, they pulled a Houdini or anything where they, you know, sold the same product twice. It just feels, it feels like the same story, but it's just different, man. It's not the same. It's not, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a funny, they're both funny. Um, I definitely going to rank super troopers one higher than, than I would rank two, oh, yeah. but two is definitely going to be like, at least for sure my top 50, maybe, for sure, I think it'll definitely be in my top fifty movies. Maybe, maybe part two. Oh, well, maybe I'm, I don't know. I'm like, I probably no more. Super Troopers at least would be my top hundred, for sure. So part two because number one is in my top ten, and the reason it would be in my my uh, top ten is because just everything. I um, I know the more I learn about the movie, the how it was made. Like I, I makes me as a independent guy like kind of really want to do it more. It inspires me to do it more. It makes me want to really kind of like just if they can do it, you can do it, and you can see it. And uh, it's okay, like to be like you know, it's okay to have crappy work when you first started because it shows where your growth is. And if you don't have any growth, they just keep making crappy work, and you, there's no point. You just got to get better, got to figure out how to do it. And I think they they show us in that movie they didn't have to go too far. They didn't have to really pull out the pull out the stops too much on the. I mean, they pulled out the stops, but like they didn't have to. They they, they didn't try to. They just kind of matched it a little bit. They mirrored it, I, and I believe is what the word I'm trying to say. So to do a third one, would be really hard. Yeah, be really I mean, hard. it would have to be. It would have to be like a it would have to be a new story. Like it would have to, I mean, I think kind of what we were saying last week, you know, about uh, the hangover trilogy. I mean, you have the first one um, and the second one's, I mean, pretty much repeating that situation. And the third one, it's like trying to wrap up everything and tie it all together. And, um, you know, uh, they, they have enough, like I said, I mean, I, until we started talking, I didn't even, you know, put together, they had Canadian contacts in that Vermont town, Yeah. you know? So, I mean, he could have been running that a lot longer. Also, it's a, there's still a province of Canada or they're still in Canada. So what's going to happen to Rob Lowe? Is he going to, is he yeah. in trouble? You know, yeah. like what's, what's the deal there? I mean, yeah, he tried <laughs> to kill some mountains and stuff or uh, Mounties and stuff like that, but he's a legend. I'm, it, Oh, if that's if if Canada's anything like America, you can get off if if you have enough yeah. money or you have enough pool, you know. Yeah. Uh, he he did mention he was like, oh, I know Justin Trudeau, you know, he's my good friend. Yeah, he does. Prime say, Minister. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I mean, they could they could potentially bring something like that back, but I I feel like I feel like if they went backwards instead of forwards with the story that they have now, it would be. Yeah, because it would be a little bit more entertaining, and they I, can do it. They can do something fresh, but still familiar. You know, I think with what they, yeah, I think with what they were, we're at with what these guys are and the way they shoot. Um, I would, I wouldn't care what direction they went. I just want to see if they can make it. If they can make us laugh again, I, like the Hangover Three. You know, I, I, you're right. It does try to tie the ends, and because uh, I think these movies, like you would just pick up right where you left off. You don't have to the the characters they unfold in front of you as you go along with the journey, so you don't really have to like explain everything you just show it and uh it's up to us to interpret it what it is and i like that this is the movie definitely fits you in the, fits me uh, to halfway the the both of them um 
would I say that I would just say that the maybe that the the first one now, like I said, I like it a little bit. I like it more than the second one. I think it's because I know a lot more about it, and just like you know, when you look on the when you're looking in the credits, like their names pop out like on certain like technical positions where they're like I'm like the actors are actually doing other parts too, like electrical and stuff. Um, uh, I, I I would say I'm, I feel comfortable rating number one right now. Um, Let's do it. I th- I think uh like I think we unlocked the code today. Um, this one is definitely in my top ten. I would give this one a thirteen out of thirteen. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this the, is. The, I think this is our first thirteen, isn't it? Is that something like that? Well, I kind of gave one with Bedazzled, but that's because I was like, oh, I, I'm, okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is, this is a superstar one because Bedazzled is one of my top movies. But I don't know if it falls like a like a ten or eleven. But I do know Super Troopers is going to be in my top ten. It might be like six or seven. But I, as I'm doing this, uh, as, as we're going through movies, I'm I'm rating them as I'm figuring them out. What, what I'm liking, what, I, what which one would I prefer to watch? And I want to say this: the everything about Super Troopers, I love the editing, the shooting, the acting, the writing, the writing, the writing, the writing, the writing. It's so good. The story is so good. Um, I, the reason I say it's a thirteen because, like I say, the 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 um, the you know zero, the one through ten is a more of like the standard, and a thirteen is that cream on top. Well, this is all cream for me. Like, like you can learn so much. <laughs> once once you find something like this movie, and you could sink your teeth into it. And not just the movie itself. The reason I also give 13s will be something that it does outside of the, the movies that they shows you, like how they got there, the steps they got. There's a lot of material on that. Their interviews. They when you talk to people, when you when you I mean, when you see the the interviews when they talk to reporters or whatever, like you you get the feel like oh they really put their hard work into it. Um, Broken Lizard guys are they they get it. I don't know what it is about them. They they understand the the story very well. They understand how to how to deliver cinema. And they, it's weird. There's five of them and they and they work so well together. So this is a 13 for me because I don't know, I, I you know, working with people is hard and I, I see the way they are and they just make it so look so easy. I don't know if they have issues. I don't know if they get into it, but it's, it's like, they, they like it. They like each other enough to like keep making these movies and I hope they keep making them um, and, and keep making them their style. And then we, we just learn to adapt ourselves a little bit more to it because I watched that movie. It was when it came out, it was in 2016, like four years ago. So what is it? Wait, let me see. Let me make sure I don't want to. Which one? Which the one second one. 2018, uh, 2018. No, 2018 yeah, yeah. So two years ago. So oh, well, two years ago. see, that's what I'm saying. I think they could squeeze the th- third one now. I think 20. I mean, I don't know, depending on how the all the regulations are shooting now, but I feel like they they'd be able to like to do it. There's been two years. Let's see what they're at. I want to know where they were. Well, the... Like I said, man, they have. I mean, in in IMDb, they have one that is slated: Super Troopers Three, Winter Soldiers. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's how we got so, into this conversation. I think. Yeah. Yeah. They... So I mean, there's there's definitely potential there. It's just where are they going to go with it man and the only thing they have in tri- trivia which is really trivial uh this will be the third super troopers movie making it the first trilogy for broken lizard that's all they have so far so there's not a whole lot you know uh going on let's see here sometimes they have like news about i don't yeah. even see that right now so um yeah i mean that's that's kind of where we're sitting at there's really nothing but, but nothing with- nothing new but with uh with one um the ra- well, i guess no this is good you're reading just get your and we'll go into the the what oh race. yeah um and and then that's why but that, i mean for i don't know if i really sold it as a 13 but uh i just feel like um when you really see the the, the craftsmanship i think as long as you still see like creators still uh, you know filmmakers filmmakers or artists or whatever you want to call them as long as they're still doing it like as they get older and they don't stop and they still produce really good uh, material. I think that's what I look at the, the overall performance, not just, not just day one or the, what it did on the box office or what it meant to me. I mean, everything like, and I think this movie's grown on me. Uh, I like, I, I didn't have a problem with it on the loop. Like I, I just walk in and we see it and you know, I didn't, I didn't, but then bother me. We didn't have cable, so I didn't care. So we just put this movie on the loop and um, it's, it's more than what it is. It's more than just background noise. It's a, it's a sit down and understand a film. Um, an independent film, and that's what I like. It's it's about it's about these guys just getting together and doing it. And that's why I like that. I like the like that. Just do your own thing, and um, it'll it'll work out. You know, I, I like that. So that's why I give it a thirteen. That's why I'm trying to clarify that. Like the thirteen, it means a lot. So I'm not just giving everything a thirteen because when, amongst the thirteens, there's there's always going to be ranking that. But I'm trying to narrow it down which one what I can say for a thirteen or whatnot. But I definitely love I love this movie. This definitely gets a big big old heart for me. Like I I, I really care about it. Well, uh, let me go ahead and just kind of justify your 13. I, uh, I'm giving it a 12. I'm giving it a 12 out of 13. All right. It's, it's high up there. I don't know whether I just grade hard or not. Um, don't get me wrong, man. Like, this is, oh, gosh. 
I don't want to sound like a snob, man. It's it, it would take it would uh, even with a with a comedy man, like it would be. Don't get me wrong, I love comedies, but it would have to be a really smart, really and uh, damn, I I feel like I'm just stepping over myself, you know. Um, preach, brother, preach. Well, so to get a thirteen, man, like it it has to. I like to be surprised during movies. If you can, if you can throw a twist my way, and I don't catch it, or you you throw enough stuff in my face to where it blinds me enough. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I, I had a movie recently that that did that, uh, but I just can't think it. You know, off the top of my head, because that's what I do in movies sometimes. Even if I see it for the first time, I'm I'm constantly trying to figure it out. Like that's my that's my main goal, and uh, I think i can contribute a lot of this uh this kind of behavior towards uh the movie gothica okay Okay. i called it i called it i don't know how i called it but i did i i i remember i watched it i was watching i was like this is what's gonna happen i was like how did i guess that you know and so ever since then man i was just like okay you know that's that's kind of that's how i i operate especially if, if if there's a you know a a twist that they are trying to you know, like in the previews or something, they're just really trying to yeah, really end. Uh, don't get me wrong, man. I mean, with the cops being the bad guys, I mean, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, and probably my younger self wouldn't have really thought too much about this or anything like that. But here and now, that's kind of where I'm sitting at. I mean, for a... Oh, remember, I think, I, think, I think a 12 is a really high score. And I, and I think, I think we, it is too. I, I, I it's think above the 10. It is. And I think what you're saying is right. I think uh, predictable movies are bad. I shouldn't be able to go watch your movie and predict where the character is going to go and how they end up. I should be able to get like a astonished, like, why didn't see that coming? Or, but I mean, you, you don't have to be tricked. I get what you're saying about this um, as it feels like it's, you're getting the same thing, same yeah. motion. Well, and, and yeah. And I mean, honestly, man, like if I'm trying, I'm trying to look, trying to think back and be like, oh, was I surprised? when whenever i found out the cops were the bad guys or even if i cared back then you know because yeah. that may not have been like one that really i was just like trying to figure out. i may have just been having a good time laughing and just totally like oh okay you know that's that's the plot of it a 12 though man like like you said it, it's it's a high score i don't want to i just wanted to kind of give my two cents of why i'm I, I don't want it to seem like i'm just being like no, you don't get a thirteen because yeah. Nah. I'll, I'll tell you this though, you, know? you you you're you're being honest, and that's what that's all that's what we need because you don't need to rate them like we're not we're not rating our we have the same rating scale, but we don't they're not the they they're valued at the same, but it doesn't mean that I know more, or you know more, or like I'm in love with it or they, all, it shows like how how we feel about it. And I think since we've been doing this organically, other than like kind of like the Ace Ventura kind of plan a little bit, but since we're trying to we've been talking and finding movies on our own like that, I think. That, that there's no real agenda there it's just kind of like it's like we're just we're just kind of going through it like we're, we're figuring it out as we go but um what i'm trying to say is like the the, the scoring like if it's like a, a 13 to me like we found two thir- kind of two 13s with me but by accident we didn't yeah we didn't we didn't go and see like oh these are all cj we're, we're gonna start talking about cj's top 10 movies right away no, no we're finding <laughs> them by accident because we're just going yeah we're just going into it like all right what are we gonna talk about what do you want to talk about now oh it's getting kind of late maybe we should should just find a topic to talk, talk about and, and focus on it and we'll go that's how we got uh, john farrow we basically i was i just looked at my dvd rack and i said hey pcu it that's what's you know i like how that's like it's easy that it's that simple and sometimes we might have a running theme and then we'll just pick up on it like we've been talking should we you know and i, I do like that i do like so my 13s are and this is definitely a 13 like i i i really love this movie like it's a great movie um super troopers one is uh by far like just just everything like if you're in a bad mood watch it if you're in a good mood watch it if you're sad watch it if you're happy watch it like it'll make you it'll amplify you and you and and, and if if somebody's listening to this and saying oh it's just stupid guy humor super or, or stupid uh uh stoner humor i'm like well put your little hat on put your stupid guy humor hat on and put your stupid yeah. hat and, and put it and watch it like that and then see what you think it, it's not here it's not here to be judged like that like this is just i mean the opening scene is just like they're they're, they're like a band you know like like they live the dream that he's he's daydreaming again, but he wants like even like that's Rabbit's dream, but his dream is to be with his friends, you know, making it like that's still cool. Like there's still like a friendship period there. Like they 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 care about it. even, but even in the dream, like they know the, he knows his friends so well that 
he was or his coworkers, he was he knew like uh, Mac would kick him out the back, you know, like Lucille, like, <laughs> like he knew that what they would do that. That was in his dream. Like but we saw it, we saw it happening. Um yeah, this this one's definitely a thirteen. Super Troopers two, however, is not a thirteen for me. But it is definitely it's not a twelve for me either. It's not it's not a twelve for me, but it is it's gonna be up there with eleven to ten. Like I I'll I'll yep. settle, I'll put it I'll put it at an eleven. I was gonna say mm-hmm. twelve at first, but then after like seeing how much like I really like one. And like I said, I, I, I with me, like if you might pick up, I might be a little bit biased because of that nostalgia thing that I'm always like, oh, like I remember what I saw when I was younger. And I, I think but that's I, part of it, man. I, I think, I mean, I think I, I, Ace Ventura had a nostalgic factor for me. I mean, yeah. that's why it got, it got, it's got a higher score than I think most people would probably get it. I mean, but even like, even like the two, they went through the GoFundMe route. So that gave it points for me thinking like, man, yeah. that's awesome that these guys are still finding ways to, 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 like it's inspiring for me to go to get off my butt and do it. And um, but I like so, like so that's another thing I would I would t- kind of give it like a twelve but I think eleven because it's it's exactly like a like like a, like one but it's own certain 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 way I like the, the the way they make fun of the Canadians like their own way like the you know I I do like that this guy's gonna make us eat tortillas or they, they're they're gonna take they're gonna tell us stop listening to Rush and and bare naked ladies like those are those are funny little quotes that like I'm like okay like that that, that those those things still are gonna stick out to me now but but um. You know, Super Troopers Two, like it's playing right now in the background. And now, to me, I'm like, I wouldn't do this number one anymore, but because I did it so much. But for two, I think it's two's turn for me to just put it in the background. <laughs> like, kind of, because it, it, it's it's got that feel. I I I'm it's, I'm enjoyed. I'm entertained. Uh, what's your score for two? Would Would you give it? It's gonna be a ten. Ten. Good. It's gonna be a ten. I figure that. Um, you know, solid sequel, man. It is a uh, it's it's a fun movie, man. It really is. It's a fun ride. I like I said, I laughed a lot. Uh, but I guess I'm just a maybe a hard grader or something like that. And it really like a movie really has to impress me, I guess. It's just something I haven't seen before, which I honestly this day and age, man, it's getting more and more difficult. Um, you know, when when you just have so much content out there. Yeah, you know? there is. Um, and, but uh, this, this is a fun movie. It's, it's, a uh, it's something that I was excited to go see. I, I was still excited to watch it this time around, you know? Yeah. Um, and it, it has, it has great qualities. It really does. I mean, you have that whole Canada versus America thing, you know, and that's uh, funny enough, you know. That's not the border issue that we're really worried yeah, about. Yeah, in America. yeah, yeah. But it's it's still something that you know they they tackled and still did it with, you know, a little bit of, you know, there's still animosity there. Yeah. You know, there's there's still gonna you 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 get that that image, or at least I do through through the media that oh, all Canadians are just so nice. Yeah, so, or they're, they're, you know. Aside from like trailer park boys or yeah. something like that, you know, like uh, I I like that. I like that aspect of the movie too. You know, you you have a lot of good jokes, and you have new jokes that are, you, you know, like whenever you see the Mounties all together watching the watching the hockey game. I mean, it's almost like you're watching you're you're seeing all those guys. It's oh, like yeah. the broken lizard but the Canadian version. But yeah, it is, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's true. I thought I thought that uh, like that's like you're getting the Canadian version of those guys. And yeah, they they, and they still play pranks. I, oh, even even with uh with Farva, I noticed like everything everything has a, an issue uh, uh, as a thing. So though when they hook up the um, the shocker to do the the sound check, <laughs> that you know you you I don't know if you caught this, but he he has to get the mitten on. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then yeah. so he actually has to use the mitten to break the w- the window to get from the bear. If he did, if they never did that, the mittens wouldn't be there, so he would never really be able to grab something else. But it was easy for him to get the mitten to punch the window to unlock it, so he can get out or move the the, the hockey stick. But he he used the mitten that they put, so they kind of they kind of foreshadowed a little bit, like you're gonna need this. So I, I like I like that he that they that good he, storytelling. I mm-hmm. mean, honestly, or good at least uh, very aware storytelling, which. Hell, honestly, for for me, I mean, that should give possibly a higher score. I don't know. I feel like, like I said, I feel no, like I think I'm too judgmental. I like, I like, on some I, of these I like your, I like, I like what your, like your, your, your view on it, man. I think uh, it's like what's gonna end up happening is I know we're gonna be burning through so many movies. We're gonna eventually watch movies like I'm thinking these are movies that we enjoy, loving, uh, we love, and we we fall in love with. I'm, I'm, when are we, when are we, when start when we start rating uh, movies on Netflix that are just low budget or something, that's when I'm gonna. <laughs> 
that's when I want, we're going to get the real scores. Like these are, these are good movies, but this is like the high end stuff we're doing right now. We have, we're, we're still going to keep doing this. Once we get down to the lower grades, we're going to find out why, I mean, there's going to be a, a whole bunch of video breakdowns. These are just kind of more appreciation videos, um, you know, that we like. And I, I think uh, these are, I think these it's are, a good start. It's a good start, man. Start you off know. on the top and then we'll work our way down and we'll go back yeah. to the top. But I think, uh, oh, and I think, uh, Sorry, I think, I think the bit of adjustment there. that's cool. I think the the rating for 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 Super Troopers it got on IMDb it got a seven point one, which is pretty good. Let's you know, see, but on their Rotten Tomato score, this is crazy, man. This is the ones that this is the ones that like. <laughs> I think I know what our channel totally is like. Super Troopers, um, the Tomato Meter, the critics gave it thirty five percent. Audience score ninety percent. That's yeah. like oh yeah. That's crazy, dude. Like, that makes total sense, honestly. Look Sorry, at, I, had to, I, I had to charge my... Oh, your hair plans? Yeah. That's all right. Uh, the, one of the, the critics, uh, Conscious, basically says, a more missed than hit affair. Super Troopers will, mi- will most likely appeal to those looking for something silly. I can see something si- but what's wrong with silly? Nothing wrong. They, they, they look at the way they do it. This and even in the on, the, on, the, on both the movie uh, uh, posters, they look funny. Like you already know what you're getting. They're upside down. You know, like they're they're telling you right up right in front of you. Like this is what we're doing. This is who we are. Like come on, like you, like I don't know. It's but it's also 88 people, and then there's 262,878 uh, audience. So you know what I mean. There's even if you if you get rid of uh you know 262,008, you still have um. What do you call it? You still have uh, almost the same amount of people that watch the the critic one. Let's see. And then for Super Troopers, I'm gonna say two. uh a ooh eighty eighty two for Super Troopers on the on the audience. On the, on the on the oh okay. Oh man, this is this is. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know because there's gonna be a lot of people that are just like, oh, this is just rehash. So it may be lower than that. Uh, all right. What do you, what do you what do you think? What, okay, what's your? I'm gonna say 82. 82. That's right. it's not it's not it's not too. I mean, it's kind of off, but a 64 audience score. Whoa. And then a 36. Um, what do you call it? Uh, with the critics, and then more more. It's crazy on this one. 98 people uh, voted. So 10 more people voted on the Super Troopers True as the critics, and they still gave it about the same. Is it 30? Yeah, 30, one, more, one, more, one more percent better. 35, 36. Meow that the wait for Super Troopers 2 is finally you over. Throw that in there? Meow. What? No, no. Oh, so I, thought the critics. You, I thought you threw that in Not there. right now, meow. <laughs> Not right, meow. <laughs> um, uh, meow that the wait for Super Troopers 2 is finally over. All but the uh, most devoted fans uh, must ask themselves why they waited so long. Such cruel and tragic shenanigans. Nah, I, it's it's... They're a little too hard on this one, man. I think I think uh, this one deserves a little better, another like repeat, because even though only three thousand people voted on on the, the for the for the audience score, so it's you said not, there was like two hundred thousand. Yeah, two hundred thousand. Another one. Yeah, that's a lot, man. Uh, that's a that's a definitely a lot. And, and I and just a, just a little thing about the the zoom. I think we we fixed it because it's not uh, telling us um, what do you call it. Um, it's the not telling us no time, no time, nothing. So all right, cool. we so figured think, it out. I think we're good. Um, yeah. I mean, I think it's, I think we're getting pretty much at that, that time where we're, we've, uh, I think we've played our, our, our respects to this movie. Um, both of them, I, I think I do have a, a greater, um, view for two and I, I feel like I'll put it on even more now. Um, these guys aren't like Reno 911. These guys are their version. Reno, Reno 911 is, I, I really do like that show a lot, but, um, it's not, <laughs> not these guys. These guys, these guys are, these guys are the, the movie version of, of Reno 911. And Reno 911 made a movie and it, it was, it was kind of like the, the show, but even at that, like, uh, with these guys, these guys, they, they, it's, it's artistic. I think it's a, an artistic taste. It's kind of, it's not, it's not like drinking Bud Light out of a wine glass, but it's, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot better, you know, about a better, a lot better, better quality on this. Um, yeah, I, 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 I really, enjoyed both these movies um i hope these guys keep keep making movies and then they keep doing i'll keep i'll keep um watching them i'll be i'll keep going to theaters because these guys are like these guys are, are theater worthy for, for me when i when i watch a movie um even, oh, yeah. even like i i you know I, I like my rule you know whatever you start you finish uh when you watch you know and uh if they ever do do, do lay a goose egg i want to see it i want to see what happened but uh this these, these guys are great um for for we got uh october coming up this week so we're gonna do some horror movies, but uh, not all. Not all. But Ben doesn't really like horror movies, so we're gonna just do. We're gonna hey, find some. Listen, 
for the sake of this podcast and for my, you know, widening of my cinematic library, man, I, I have to. I mean, I may not I may not be a fan, but by God, I need to watch them. I need to I mean, get that. Well, what, what were you going to say? What did I say, John? You just finished what you were going to say. You need to get the, uh, the, the wings? or. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like I mean, I've seen, I've seen, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. I've seen Scream. Scream is, it's fantastic, dude. Yeah, it's good. I mean, because that's 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 what I'm talking about with the twist, man. Like, those those are the kinds of things that I enjoy. Like, if I can if I can see that, or if I can't see that coming, even better, man. Uh, but I think probably the first time I watched Scream too, I wasn't just like, oh, I need to figure this out. But I. I am gonna go. I I will try to take that hat off whenever I'm watching these movies. Too. Yeah, dude. I mean, well, um, well, I think we could easily segue into horror movies this coming up month. Um, I think we can too. I was uh, honestly, man. Whenever we were talking about, and I had IMDb pulled up, and then uh, you know it had suggestions underneath there. Um, you know, before if, if we want to jump right into horror movies, we can uh, for the month of October. I am mm-hmm. totally okay with that. Uh, but I did see a indie film and a sequel uh, that were a little bit further apart, uh, kind of like this movie. I don't know if uh, it was Clerks and Clerks Two. Oh, ooh. Um, yeah. We're going, so we're going, and, we're going Kevin Smith area. I love it. I do love me some Kevin Smith. I, I, I got... Mall Rats, man. I just. It, Oh, I love that movie. I love Mallrats. I love. Oh, okay. I love where we're going with this. I love where we're. I love yeah. where we're going. Um, I'll say that this is this this is a little theme we got going on right now, and I I love this theme going because we did Ace Ace Ventura when Pet Detective and Ace Ventura when Nature Calls, and now and then we did um Super Troopers one, Super Troopers two, and I don't mind doing a Clerks and Clerks two because those these are this is another independent filmmaker. Um, his story is a uh, Kevin Smith story is pretty cool the way he got started too um man the, the, these all right, all right we're gonna do clerks I, I i really love just the this the filmmaking from this and and you're right there's a um, clerks 2 was in 2006 and yeah, clerks so 1 is 12 years 12 years yeah and but yeah. i mean they're there's they're oh it's kind of they're, they're right they're two different two different beasts and because one was kind of more like an a, a artsy independent comedy a real a slice of life the other one turned into like a movie so yeah. so it's like okay let's see that's I, i'll do that man I, li- I like i like these guys the um, I, like, I like kevin smith a lot man i follow him on instagram and uh, on a uh, facebook you know he's doing podcasts and stuff so he's just a good he's just he's a been good, on joe rogan yeah i've yeah, enjoyed he, him on there it, too it, oh he does he does and i i mean he, when he says his um his quote of uh you know when his dad died that that's real you know it doesn't matter if you're gonna if you die oh. you know when you die you're gonna go you're gonna, you're gonna scream so he might as well enjoy it. So he goes, I just been smoking weed and chasing whim- uh, uh, whimsies. You know, it's like, that's his like mm-hmm. ma- mantra right now. And I'm like, yeah, he's right, man. Just go for it. And I, I love that. I mean, I have his book. I need to read it. I haven't finished reading it, but um, I need to get back onto it. Um, he wrote a book. I think he's wrote a couple of books, but he's, he's man, the guy's good, man. Um, he knows mm-hmm. how to tell a story. He's a good storyteller. And, I, and uh, I'm, happy you, I'm happy you discussed this. I'm happy, I'm happy you brought this up because this isn't re- you're right. Did you, wait, did you say you recently saw them or just you wanted to compare them? No, no, actually, I just, I thought it was a, it was a cool comparison too, because like how, how it's, I can't think of any other movie like that, like Super Troopers, man, that was independent, you know, and then so many, so many odd years later, you have the sequel to it, you know, not, not necessarily anything that anybody was like, oh, I'm begging for Clerks too, but it it was in the back of everybody's mind. Yeah. And then whenever it came about, you were just like, okay, um, yeah. I mean, I probably honestly, CJ, I think Clerks. I think I watched Clerks too before I watched Clerks. If oh. I'm, yeah. The reason being, I had seen Dogma, I had seen Mall Rats, um, you know, Jay and Seven Bob Strike Back, yeah. which. They do have Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and then they do Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. I haven't have you, seen, the, have you seen, I, I, I haven't seen the reboot yet. It's not bad. All right. It's 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 not. I don't I don't know, man. We we may have to do something on that later because that's that's another. Well, it really wasn't an independent film at that point, but you know, like I said, something that's a sequel Dude. set many years later because that was two thousand one movie too. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I think uh, Dogma is a great movie. It's got Carlin, oh. Chris Rock, Rosario, yep. Rosario Dawson. Um, yeah, dude, there's something about Dogma that is just a good storytelling. And it's also like, it's a religious um, story, you know? I'm not, mm-hmm. my family's religious. Um, both they're, both my sides, you know, you know, tend to be church people. And I'm, I'm really not. And uh, But when I see that story, I'm like, I get it. I understand, you know, the story. It's a good story. It's a really nice little yeah little little um you know little bible kind of verse whatnot but a scripture i guess i should say but um i i, I think clerks man i i want to i want to see that uh just the it's a different pace too because i couldn't i don't think i could i could i could um show tell someone about clerks if they weren't in either a, a movie buff a film buff or like an actor or a like a, some kind of like a, maybe a, a filmmaker I, i'd have to show them like look, look what, how it starts off and this is where you go but like to to uh, suggest it to anybody like hey you suggest anything like i like i'd have to know your background a little bit to kind of suggest clerks uh it is a different little like on the pie chart of movies you're right it's like it's going to be somewhere like you know somewhere in a nice spot but where you don't really you want to share it with somebody but you want to make sure they get it you don't just want to give it. like super yeah. troopers i can just here just watch this like i don't even care like you can be higher sober or whatever you want just watch this movie it's freaking hilarious you'll get it and then uh because you know everyone's getting pulled over by the cops you know the, mm-hmm. we, i mean it always happens somebody gets pulled over and you always have an interaction and you see these interactions are which are ridiculous but um you know with clerks it's it's more of a that independent feel it really has it it really has that that and the, the acting is pretty good um as in like just it's it's also like uh this reminds me of swingers this this is this was gonna have like a swing but i haven't seen clerks in a while so it's gonna be good for me to watch it and then Same. and then watch clerks too i i saw clerks too at the theater but I, I, it's just i don't really remember it that well so it'd be good to me to do a rewatch but uh yeah so we're uh, next week we've already decided kevin smith clerks kevin smith clerks and clerks too um we're gonna be uh, breaking those down uh so uh you know today side by side was um was uh super troopers one and super troopers two which i think was a uh, just kind of where i'm at right now uh even with my life just watching it i was like oh, i hit the spot perfect man the way we did it it's just it was perfect dude i was like this is the i mean it's it's gonna be three in the morning and i'm pretty sure we're gonna i already. know man i just saw that i was I like oh yeah I just really, but I mean, we could talk about movies that we really enjoy, um, and this one we really do enjoy. And I knew it was going to be like that because I, 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 when you were giving me the time, I was like, oh, he's really letting me like soak it up because he's got a lot too. So it's going to be fun to share. And uh, I mean, I even like that we fixed like like as independent guys, we had a problem, we fixed it. It's not a big one, you know. But to me, it's like, hey, there's going to be setbacks. Keep going. And yeah. I like that we really got we really got this thing going. Um, I, I, I really do. Uh, I, I gotta just tip, kiss to the super troopers and broken lizards for you guys doing your work keep it up and um now we got kevin smith coming up and i'm a, I'm a big kevin smith guy so this is gonna be a, this will be a fun one um i actually like i, I want to say I, I like that you picked this because this is also uh or like you kind of suggested it because it's, it's also a, a 90s and then the 2000s you know and yeah. uh, you know i feel like that there's that that we, we've been kind of there's a little we've been kind of kind of doing that a little bit so it's kind of cool how we're forming our our content but uh, I guess uh, it's already late and two minutes will be three o'clock and I actually do need to get some sleep. I got a two year old's about to wake up <laughs> in about an hour. Or so, um, oh, man. Jeez. I'm going I'm to get him. I'm going to get him. He's going to get me, but I'm going to get him. It's going to be fun. Um, I bought him puzzles and he's been doing puzzles. So I, I, you can let him just chill and do some puzzles and that'll be over <laughs> here just trying to edit and do stuff. I, I like that I'm in the kitchen right now. Cause it works out for me. But um, but uh, that being said, uh, let's get some rest. Cause we got uh, we got some movies coming up. I actually I got a I got a few movies. Oh, and then next weekend I got a uh, a film. I'm doing a short a, a film festival or the 40 Hour Film Project. I haven't signed up yet. I need to sign up, but got that going. And that's gonna be on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so when we do, I'll, I'll watch the movies uh, probably um, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, and get ready for that thing this Wednesday. Wednesday. So I'll go film set it up chill for a little bit and then get wa- talking to you look at that movies all weekend it's gonna be a movie oh, re- movie movie related weekend it's just gonna be shooting a random movie shooting a movie acting in a movie and then taking a break coming into th- coming into it talking to you about two other great movies that i'm gonna have probably some nice notes to um yeah and you got anything else you want to say i'm good man i think it's uh it's literally time to sign off yeah, I was, I was trying. I was trying. I was trying to get to get right at three. So be like, we sit up till three in the morning doing a podcast. Oh. <laughs> but no, we start at. I mean, it's a midnight podcast, and I mean, this is, when you find something you enjoy, just go with it. Yeah, uh, I mean, we had a few technical difficulties, but hey, man. I mean, yeah. 
with with your editing skills, I'm sure it will be seamless. I'm trying to think about what we're gonna do with this, with these two, like the two we're next to each other now. So it's cool. Now we're side by side. Side by side. Wait. You gotta go like that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's three in the morning, and I need to go before I piss people off at my house. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm saying, man. All right. Hey, brother. Stop yeah. you, man. You have a good night. You too, man. Peace. Bye.